Today, we're doing an amazing digital circus build challenge, but I'm secretly gonna be using hacks to troll my friend. Using the command slash slash paste, I can instantly spawn in these massive Jack's Pony and Kane builds. Little does my friend know, I'm gonna be filling up all these builds with a whole bunch of traps to prank him. And now, let's go check out my friend GE. And GE, what in the world is going on? Bubbles, you gotta help Pomni. She's literally drowning. Bubbles, help me, please. Don't worry, Pomni, I'll get you out of there. Ah! But GE, what are we doing today? We're doing an amazing digital circus build challenge movie. So let's flick this lever and see what character we get. Sounds good. Let me just press it real quick. And it looks like we got Kane. I love Kane. He's super cool. But wait a second. What side are you going to go on? The green side or the blue side? Well, you already know I'm going to go on the green side. The green side. That's my side. Ah! What the heck? Whatever, GE Blue is way better anyway. I don't know about that, Bubbles, but we only have 10 minutes to build this, so let's get started. Let's go. Now that GE can't hear me anymore, it's time to cheat. So let me just go and chat and type slash slash paste. And oh my, yeah, our cane build just spawned in. It looks super good, and we're so ahead of GE right now. But there's no time to waste because we got to fill this up with traps. For my first trap, I'm going to be making a fake entrance. And just to make sure that GE falls for it, we're actually going to put it right inside of Kane's mouth right over here. Since this is the fake entrance, I'm going to be making a lava parkour that's going to be impossible to complete. So let's just cover Kane's mouth with a whole bunch of lava. We'll let it flow down for a second. And now we can start placing the springs that GE's going to have to bounce on as his parkour. Place another one right over here. And we'll just make our way up toward the center. There we go. And we'll have it end right on this platform over here. And on this platform, there's going to be a trap chest that GE's going to think is the prize. But in reality, when GE goes to open up this chest, it's going to spawn in a Medusa that's going to instantly turn him into stone. Whoa, she looks super terrifying. Let's check if this parkour works real quick. Come on. Look Looks like it's working. And now let's open up this chest. And oh my goodness, we just got killed by Medusa. I can't wait to see GE's reaction when he gets turned into stone. Make sure to stick around to see it happen. And just like that, our fake entrance is completed. But before moving on to building our next trap, I want to go check on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly placed one-way glass on the other side of the competition. So let me just break out a few blocks here just like this. And oh my goodness, we can see GE building his cane. All right, just a few more blocks. And there we go. My cane looks so good. What do you think, Mr. Beetle? What the heck? Why is GE talking to a beetle? He's definitely gone crazy. You don't like it? Get out of here. What the heck? GE's definitely gone insane. But little does Bubbles know, I'm gonna fill up my entire build with a bunch of traps with this super secret treasure at the end. TNT, are you serious right now? And we only have eight minutes left, so this is going perfect. Wait a second, we only have eight minutes left? I gotta quickly get back to my build then. Go, go, go. We gotta do this fast. And since we already have the fake entrance up there, it's time to put in the real one. And where should I put it? Hmm. Let me ask Kane. Kane, where should I put the real entrance? Bubbles, put it on my button. In your button, that's a perfect spot. So let me just break out a few blocks like this, and we'll cover it up with some ghost blocks so it's completely invisible. Whoa, that is so hidden. Thank you, Kane, for telling me to put it here. But now we can go inside and start building our first trap. And from our first trap, G's gonna have to pick between two different levers. The one on the green side of the room, or the one on the blue side of the room. If G decides to pull the lever on the green side, it's gonna spawn in a bunch of these ancient warriors that he's gonna have to defeat with only this emerald sword over here. Let's just see how strong these warriors are, and oh my goodness, are doing so much damage to me. Ah! I have no idea how GE is going to be able to defeat them, but I guess we're going to have to stick around to find out. But anyways, if GE decides to pick the lever on the blue side, it's actually going to activate this secret iron door just like this. And then he'll be able to move on to the next part of the build. For my next trap, I'm going to be building a room where GE is going to have to make another super difficult decision. GE is going to have to decide if he wants to get across on the left side or on the right side. On the left side over here, he's going to have to swim through a whole bunch of hot lava. And if he chooses the right side over here, he's going to have to swim through this water. And I know you might be thinking that water is obviously the right answer. But in reality, if G decides to swim in this water, he's gonna get absolutely wrecked. Oh my goodness. It might look like regular water on the surface, but it's actually some poisonous water. And obviously you can't swim through the lava either. So we're gonna have to give G a secret way to get across. For the secret way to get across, I'm actually gonna put a little hidden chest right here disguised as an emerald block. And inside of the secret chest, I'm actually gonna put a little grappling hook. If G is able to find this chest and get the grappling hook, he can use it to easily get across to the other side. Let's go. But just like that, in our second trap is completed. For the next obstacle that I'm gonna build, G is gonna have to fight a super dangerous mob boss. Let me build out the room real quick, and then we'll put down some iron bars to make sure that the mob doesn't escape. There we go. And now to help me spawn in this super insane mob boss, click that like and subscribe button in 3, 2, 
one. Thank you for subscribing. And oh my goodness, this guy looks absolutely terrifying. I have no idea how G is going to be able to defeat this guy. Just to make this fight more fair, we're going to give him a bunch of items in this chest right over here. But it's going to be password protected. Let's just make the password 789 and we'll just fill it up with a bunch of emerald armor, a shotgun, and five golden apples. This should definitely be enough for him to defeat this mob boss. But we need to give him a way to figure out the code. And I have just the perfect idea for that. Let's write the number 7 into the wall just like this, then put 8 right over here, and last but not least, 9 over on this wall. Leaving them out in the open is way too obvious, so we're gonna cover all these numbers with a whole bunch of paintings. The only way that G is gonna be able to find them is by breaking all these paintings. There we go, and looks like everything is covered up. Oh yeah, looks like our boss fight room is completed. But before moving on to building the next trap, I wanna go troll GE real quick. And I have just the perfect idea for a troll, so let me just fly up to the wall right here and break out a few blocks. Holy smokes, we can see GE building. Whoa, my cane build is looking so good. I'm almost finished. Quick, while he's not looking, let's go in our inventory and grab an invisibility potion. And now GE can't see us anymore. Now I can fly all the way up to him and he won't even notice a thing. But I do want to set up a little prank for GE to fall for. So let me just place down an exit door with a pressure plate right over here. Then underneath this pressure plate, we're actually going to put in some TNT. Fill it up real quick. And now all we got to do is wait for GE to fall for it. Nice, my build is looking so good. And wait a minute, is that an exit door right over there? Guys, he noticed it. Finally, I can escape this digital circus build challenge. Let me just go up to this door right over here and wait a second. It's not leading anywhere. And what does that sound? <laughs> ah! No way, GE just blew up! And while he's busy respawning, I'm just gonna go in my inventory and grab a bazooka, and then we can blow up his build! Quick, run away, run away! Whoa, that was so weird, but at least I'm back in my build. What the heck just happened? No, 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 this can't be happening to me! My build, my build! Oh my goodness, GE has no idea that it was me! This is so bad, and we only have four minutes to finish this up. I gotta be fast! What did he say? We only have four minutes? I gotta quickly get back to my build then! Let's go! Alright, we gotta do this quick. For my next obstacle, I'm gonna be building the exit door from Digital Circus. First, let's make this room look like the Digital Circus tent. There we go, just like that. And now we can place down the forbidden exit door. Dun, dun, dun. Let's put down a sign on top that says exit. There we go. And then we'll place down a blue door on this side. The blue door is going to lead GE to the next room, but since he hates the color blue, I know he's not going to pick it. Now that that's all set up, we can start building the Digital Circus void. We'll start off with some abstracted glitching blocks just like this, and then we'll add this void block over it all. And holy moly, I feel like I'm going to be glitching out if I stand in here any longer. Get out, get out. I can't wait to see G's reaction when he walks through that exit door. But just like that, our digital circus tent room is completed. Hmm, let me move the blue door over here so it's easier for G to miss. Wait a second, we only have two minutes left. I gotta quickly build this. For my next trap, G's gonna have to decide if he wants to jump down into the green slime or if he wants to jump down into the blue slime. Let's put the green slime on the left and the blue slime on the right. And since blue is such a beautiful majestic color, it's gonna be the correct answer. And this nasty green is gonna be the wrong one. So let's go down and build a little trap. First, we're gonna make him land safely in water so he's gonna think he picked the right answer. But as soon as he goes behind this door, he's gonna be met with a bunch of these killer robots. And these guys do a ton of damage. Oh my goodness. Now that the trap is set up, we can jump down this blue slime safely and move on to building the last and final obstacle. For the final trap, GE must pick if he wants the diamond treasure or the emerald treasure. We'll put some signs down to lead him in the right direction. Obviously, since green is the worst color between the two, the emerald treasure is gonna be the wrong answer. So let's just put a trap chest at the end. When GE goes to open up this chest, Chest, it's gonna break the block right under him like this and he's gonna fall down. I think it'll be even funnier if he falls out a bunch of these super explosive mines. Let's just test if this works with the zombie and haha he exploded. I can't wait to see GE's reaction when he falls on these mines. But now that we're done with the emerald treasure let's move on to building the diamond treasure. If G decides to open up the chest on the correct diamond side he's gonna find a chest filled with emeralds and poisonous potatoes all of his favorite things. Let's fill it up all the way and just like that our cane build is completed. Wait perfect timing the timer just went off. Now let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey GE. Hey Bubbles. Now that the timer is up, which build are we checking out first? Well, since my build's obviously way better than yours, we should check out mine. Okay, GE, it's definitely not better than mine, but I guess we could check yours out. Prepare to be amazed, Bubbles. This is my awesome cane build. And whoa, GE, this is actually not bad. But why in the world is his suit green, GE? Uh, because Kane loves the color green, remember? He definitely does not like green because it's the world's stinkiest color. Stinky? Uh, don't you mean green is 
the most stunning, astonishing, amazing color in the entire world. I don't even know what half of those words mean, Chi, but how do I even get into this thing? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's your favorite color. My favorite color, but there's just a whole bunch of green. Wait a second. I think I see some blue right down there. Let me just click around and looks like I made it. Nice job, Bubbles. You found it. But now that you're inside the entrance, you have to get past my super deadly dangerous lava parkour. Are you serious right now, Chi? This is the easiest parkour I've ever seen in my life. Uh, no, it's not, Bubbles. This parkour is actually really hard, see? What the heck, GE? You suck. I could definitely complete this my first try. All right, then let's see it. Let me just quickly make these jumps just like this, and look at that, GE. I'm already done. Wait, what? How did he do that first try? Because I'm a level 10 parkour pro. Uh, fine. I guess you are good at parkour, so open up the door and get your prize. Let's go. I could collect my prize already. Let me just open up this chest and... Wait, GE, there's literally nothing in here. And what is that sound? And why is there lava coming down? Ha <laughs> ha. Are you serious right now, GE? Yes, I'm serious right now. You just fell for the fake entrance. The fake entrance? Well, then where's the real one? I didn't know, Bubbles. You're just gonna have to find it. What the heck? Is it in his eyeball over here? And nope. Nope. Is it in Kane's teeth right over here? Doesn't look like it. Nah. -uh. GE, I can't find this real entrance. Can you please give me a hint? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles, but only under one condition. Condition. And what condition is that? Everyone watching the video still like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe? Quick, guys, I really want to find this real entrance, so hit that like and subscribe button in 3, 2, 1. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, GE, they all liked and subscribed, so now you have to tell me the hint. Wait, what? How did they do it so fast? Because they're super duper cool. Fine, I mean, they are really cool, so I guess I'll show you the real entrance. And I have no idea how you didn't see it, because it's literally right inside of his elbow. What in the world? It's literally out in the open. How did I not find this? But well, let me just open this door and walk right inside. What the heck is this, GE? Welcome to the first room, where you're gonna have to choose between a blue button and a green button. The blue and the green? Well, I'm more interested in what's inside this chest, so let me just grab whatever's inside. Looks like I got some armor and a wooden sword. Nice shot, Bubbles, but what button are you pressing? Um, well, since we already established that green is a stinky color, I'm gonna press this blue one. All right, so let's see. And wait a second, it's a slime. Haha, <laughs> and he's green too. Ew, no wonder it smells in here. Come on, come on, just a few more hits. And just like that, I took out all the slimes, GE. Nice shot, Bubbles, and they even dropped these slime balls too. Uh, what the heck? Stop throwing those at me, please, stop. Are you serious right now? Why are you scared of slime balls. Stop it, GE. Ew. <laughs> get those away from me. Fine, Bubbles. I'll get those away from you if you press the green button. Okay, okay. Let me just press this button and we can move to the next room. Good job, Bubbles. And now that you're in this room, you're gonna have to choose between the blue door and the green door. Are you serious right now, GE? Picking between blue and green again? Yup. And are you finally gonna choose the best answer once and for all? I have a feeling you would make green the right answer, but I gotta stick with my gut, GE, and go with blue. And look at that, GE. I was right. There's a chest right over there. Nice. So Go pick it up then. All right, here I go. And wait a second. What the heck? Haha. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Were those ghost blocks? Yup, and now you have no choice but to choose the most bestest, awesomest color in the entire world. Ah, I should have just went with green in the first place. All right, GE, and looks like I made it to some weird parkour with a whole bunch of creepers. Yup, this parkour is weird, all right? It's literally the Ohio parkour. What the grimace is going on? Ohio parkour or not, I'm gonna make it through it. All right, but let's see if you can make it to the end. Let's make these easy jumps at the start just like this and oh no i already fell oh stop ah! <laughs> i can't believe i fell there but i think i found a little shortcut for the parkour and what's that bubbles i can skip these jumps and jump right over here wait what that's cheating oh my goodness all those ohio creepers are down there ready to blow me up i gotta quickly make it through let me just jump on these ladders just like this and come on we did it oh yeah good job bubbles you didn't get blown up but now that you made it across you can make it to my super scary skeleton maze. Whoa, it looks like it's Halloween up in here, but GE, this is not a maze. It's so easy. I'm already done with it. Wait, what? How in the world did he finish it that fast? Are you serious right now? Haha, <laughs> and now I can collect my prize. And wait a second, a shotgun with ammo? That's not my prize. Yep, because your prize is actually right here. What the heck, GE? I didn't even see that. Well, let me just press this button and what the heck? There's a bunch of cave spiders. Get them, spiders. Get them. Come on, I just got to use my shotgun. I'm taking them out. I'm taking them out. And oh no, I'm stuck in this web. Come on. And who? I think I took them all out. I'll give you that, Bubbles. You didn't die, but you still have to find
find a way out of here. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Let me just break out some of these blocks over here. And what the heck? There's literally nothing. Well, there's definitely a way out of here, Bubbles. You just gotta think outside of the box. Wait a second. I think I have an idea. Let me just break this button right over here. And then we'll use it to open up this iron door over here. Nice job, Bubbles. You figured it out. And now you can just keep walking across to make it to the next room. Oh, yeah. I'm the best. And what the heck? Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. There's no way you put a trap there. That's so mean. But you know what? Since I'm 400 IQ, I'm just gonna jump on this bench right over here and make it over. Good job, but you know you could have just jumped over, right? Wait, what? Uh, I, I definitely knew that. I just wanted some extra style points. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go to the next room, GE. Uh, okay. Well, you're locked in this room with over 100 buttons and only one of them is getting you out of here. With 100 buttons? This is gonna take years to find. But wait a second, GE. Why is there a red button over here? It looks completely completely different from all the other ones. Isn't it so big, red, and shiny? Don't you totally want to press it? Well, now that you say that, I'm having an urge to press it. Are you gonna do it? Uh, uh, I can't take this anymore. I'm just gonna press it. Are you serious right now? You just died and- Wait, what the heck, Bubbles? Did you just poop? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, GE. You're so gross, Bubbles, but there's still 99 more buttons you have to press. Oh my goodness, let me just start pressing a bunch of these buttons. Come on. Hold up, wait a minute. Why is there a blue one right here? Wait, a blue button? Oh, I forgot I had to put the most stinkiest button in the entire world. Stinkiest button? Blue is literally the best color. Uh, the best color? Let me see about that. <laughs> Ew, this thing totally stinks. You suck, GE, and blue is the best, so I'm just gonna- Gonna press this button and why am I in the void? Ah! There's no way you just died two times in a row, Bubbles. And since you're having such a hard time, I'll give you a hint. Yes, please give me a hint. The right button is the best color in the entire world. Oh my goodness, G. Are you serious? Is there a green button in here somewhere? Let me just look around and... No way, there was a green button here the whole time? Yup, there is. Don't you totally want to press it now? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to if I want to get my prize. So let me just press this stinky green button and move on to the next level. But wait, G. Why is there so much green? in this room. I don't want to touch any of it. Because green is the best color ever. Um, it's definitely not, and I'm seriously not going to touch any of this green. Ew. Let me see if I can make it to the end without touching any of it. Come on, just jump on this cobblestone. And holy moly, I was really close to touching that green. Stop being so extra, Bubbles. The exit's literally right over here. Gee, it's not that simple. I really don't want to touch this nasty color. Come on, let me just jump around this corner. And whew, I did it. But Gee, how am I supposed to get through the exit without touching green? Well, I have a good idea, Bubbles. You can just get off of this cauldron and make it through. Oh no, well if that's the only way, then I guess I'll have to do it. Come on, come on. Ew, 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 ah. Oh my gosh, you're such a saucy baka, Bubbles, but now that you made it to the end, you can choose between the blue treasure and the green treasure. The blue and the green? Well, I definitely don't want to be touching green again, so I'm just gonna go down the blue one. Alright, so let's see what's inside. It's probably some diamonds, and wait, what is happening? Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. What the heck, GE? I just got eaten by a bunch of sharks. Yep, and that only leaves you with one more option, the green side. Ew, G, I don't want to touch green again. Um, well, you're gonna have to, unless you don't want your treasure, of course. Wait, what? No, I want the treasure, I want the treasure. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Come on. Let's see, and it's a bunch of diamonds, blue crystals, and rotten flesh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wait, what? I didn't think you'd actually eat it. Mm-mm-mm, it's almost as good as the Grimace Shake. I love the Grimace Shake, but now that you went through my build, can I please go through yours? Of course you can, G. Let's go check it out. Let's go. When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. All right, let me see. And oh my gosh, what the heck is this? This is my beautiful and amazing cane build. Doesn't he look so cool? He looks so big. How in the world did you build this in 10 minutes? Because I'm the world's best Minecraft builder. We'll see about that, Bubbles. But how do I even get inside this thing? I'll give you a hint, GE. It's somewhere up. Maybe it's inside of his mouth. And aha, there's a spring parkour right here. Looks like you found the entrance, but can you make it past the parkour? Oh, uh, well, obviously, I'm a parkour pro, remember? Let's see. Let me just make this jump right here and then over there and then keep going. Come on, come on, come on. And what the heck? Haha, <laughs> you just fell. Well, I can explain this, Bubbles. It was just the test run. I'm totally gonna make it this time. Well, you better not fall again because you did say you're a professional. And I made it. Let's go. No way. I guess second time was the charm. I guess you could open up this chest and collect your prize. Collect my prize? Say less. I'm just gonna open up this chest real quick and wait a second. What the heck is this? You just got turned into stone. <laughs> Bubbles.
almost like can't respond. What the heck is this? Because you just got turned to stone by Medusa. This is so unfair, but wait a second. Bubbles, is this a fake entrance? Yeah, it is, GE. I don't know how you fell for it. Oh my gosh, I guess I have to find the real one now. Maybe it's inside of his hand and no. Nope. Or is it inside of his hat? Not even close. Uh, I can't find this entrance anywhere. Can you please give me a hint? Nope, I'm not gonna tell you where it is, GE. Are you sure about that? Oh, oh, what the heck is that? Put that away. I'll tell you where it is. I'll tell you where it is. Let's go. Ah! Gee, I had no idea how you didn't find it. It's right inside of Kane's button over here. Wait, what? Uh, I should have known. Well, now that you're inside, are you going to pull the green lever or the blue lever? Oh, hmm. Let me think about this super carefully. I'm going to pull the green lever. Let's go. And wait a second. What the heck are these? These warriors just spawned in to destroy you, GE. What the heck are they yapping about? Get out of here. No way. You're actually getting them all. Did he just run out? Get out of here. What the heck? You didn't even die. Yup, because I'm the best. Ah, uh, whatever, GE. I guess you're left to pull the blue lever. Whatever, Bubbles. I guess I'll pull it. And nice. There we go. Welcome to the next obstacle. Are you going to swim across in the lava or swim across in the water? The lava or the water? Well, isn't this the easiest choice ever? I'm going to go in the water. Let's go. And wait a second. What the? You just fell from my trap. Haha, <laughs> GE. That's actually poisonous water. Oh my gosh. Are you serious right now? Wait a second. This must be fake lava then, right? Jump in and find out. I'm so ready to jump in. This is going to be just like a bubble bath. Let me make this jump right over here and let's go and wait a second ow, 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 ow. ha ha you just died two times in a row wait what are you kidding me this room's literally impossible maybe there's another secret way to get across another secret way hmm, let me look real quick are you gonna find it come on just keep punching around and there we go oh there's a webhook launcher inside of here yep and you can use it to swing across all right so let me just put in this super cool mask first and then use this webhook launcher and i made it let's go Good job, GE. Now you can open up this door and move on to the next level. All right, let me see what's inside. And what the heck? Is that a mutant hoglin? Yep, and you're gonna have to fight him. Wait, what? With just my bare hands? Yeah, obviously. With what else? Wait, what the? Are you serious right now? I'm just messing with you, GE. There's a bunch of gear that you can use in this chest. All right, so let me just open it up. And oh my gosh, what the goodness? There's literally a password. Yep, I wasn't gonna make it that easy for you. I hid the password somewhere in this room and you're gonna have to find it. Somewhere in this room? Hmm, let me see. Hmm, well, there are a bunch of paintings in here. And wait a second, is that Among Us? Yeah, doesn't he look so sussy? Yeah, I think that's literally a sussy imposter right over here. I'm gonna break it. Let's go. And wait a second, it just fell off the wall. Yep, are you onto something, G? I think I am. I'm gonna break every single painting in this room. Let's go. Looks like you're figuring it out. And wait a second, the number eight? That's one of the numbers in the code. All right, so let me break all of these paintings. Which reveals a seven. Oh, so there must be one more number here then. I'm gonna break the rest of these paintings. Let's go. And it shows the number nine. I can't believe you actually figured that out. But now you can put the code into the chest and collect your gear. All right, so let me just type in seven, eight, nine. And oh my goodness, we have an emerald armor, a shotgun, and some golden apples. They're all for you. Whoa, don't it look so cool in this armor? Yep, and you look ready for battle as well. So the walls are dropping in three, two, one, fight! Alright, bring it on, Mutant Hoglin, and what the heck? He did so much damage right over there. He is super duper strong. Get him! And wait a second, I just died. Haha. <laughs> Maybe I can use my shotgun against him. Come on, get over here. And wait a second, did he just spawn a bunch of regular Hoglins? What the heck? And they're all after you. Oh no, this is so bad. These mobs are only in Ohio. Oh, only in Ohio. Oh. And it looks like you're doing a ton of damage to the Hoglin. And I got him. Let's go. Nice job, GE. You did it. Yeah, I did. And he even dropped this tusk right over here. That's super duper cool. But now you can open up this trap door and move on to the next level. Let's go. And wait a second. Are we literally in the amazing digital circus right now? GE, welcome to the amazing digital circus. Which door are you going to go in? The exit door or this blue door? The amazing exit door or the ugly blue door? Uh, well, that's the easiest choice ever, right? I'm going to go in the exit door. Let's go. And wait a second. What in the grimace is this? happening to me. Oh, oh no, GE just traveled into the void. Oh. He just 
just died. Okay, what the heck was that, Bubbles? Did you trap me in the void? Yeah, I mean, you did choose to go through the exit door, and that's what's behind it. Fine, so I guess I'll go in this blue door over here. Let me just open it up, and nice. Nice, G, but now you're gonna have to pick if you want to jump down the green slime or jump down the blue slime. The green or the blue slime? Well, obviously, I'm gonna go in the blue slime. Psych, I'm going in the green one. Let's go. What the heck? You scared me there. I thought you were really gonna go in the blue one. Well, obviously not. I'm gonna open up this door and get my treasure. Let's go and wait a second. What the heck is happening? Are these a bunch of mecha robots? What the heck? Yup, and they're destroying you. Haha, <laughs> green was the wrong answer. Fine, I guess I'll go down the blue slime, but wait a second. Can't I literally just break this? Um, that would be cheating, GE. You have to jump through the slime. Uh, I don't think so, Bubbles. I'm gonna break it. Let's go. What the heck? Whatever, GE. Welcome to the last and final obstacle. Are you gonna choose the emerald treasure or the diamond treasure? The emerald or the diamond? Wait, what's with all these blue or green questions? Nothing, GE. Just hurry up and pick. Uh, 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 uh. This is the hardest decision of all time. I'm gonna go for the emerald treasure. Let's go. Nice. All right, so let me just open it up real quick and wait a second. What the? You just blew up. Ow, ow, ow. I can't believe you just fell for that, GE. The emerald treasure is obviously the wrong one. Uh, does that mean I have to go through the diamond treasure? Yep, if you want to collect your prize. Fine, I guess I'll start walking this way and open up my treasure. What's inside? <laughs> Whoa, there's a bunch of emeralds and poisonous potatoes. They're all for you, GE. Yummy, yummy, and my tummy, tummy. All right, GE, now that we checked out each other's builds, who do you think is better? Well, after going through both of our builds, I think that mine is way better. What the? Mine is way better. Really, dude? Then who wins? Uh, I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment who won this round, but we still have a lot more rounds to go through before we see who wins this build challenge. Yep, so why don't we hit this lever and figure out which character we're building next? Come on, please be Pomni. It looks like we got Jax. Are you serious right now? I guess that is still pretty good, but we only have 10 minutes to build this, so let's go. My Jax is gonna be better than yours. Now that GE can't hear me anymore, it's time to cheat. So let me just go and chat and type slash slash paste. And oh my god, our Jax build just spawned in. We're so ahead of GE right now, but it's time to put in some traps. And for my first trap, I'm gonna be making a fake entrance. Let me think, where should I put it? I know, let's put it on the side of Jax's head right over here. So let's just break out a few blocks like this. Then we'll place down some secret doors disguised as emerald blocks to lure GE over here. But now let's go inside and start building the trap. For the fake entrance, I'm gonna be tricking GE with a trail of emeralds that will lead him to a super deadly mob. So let's just build out the room real quick. And now we can start placing down a trail of emeralds all the way to the end of the room. We'll put in some lasers here as well so it's not too suspicious. There we go. And at the very end, when GE goes to collect these two emeralds, he's gonna fall into a bunch of these ghost blocks. Let's just test if this works and look at that. We just fall right through. Once GE falls down here, he's gonna land in a bunch of cobwebs which is gonna make it impossible for him to move. By now, GE is probably already screaming his head off which is gonna awaken this giant under golem. And whoa, he looks super duper powerful. Let's see if our trap works and we landed in the cobwebs and this golem is destroying us. Ah, I can't wait to see GE's reaction when he falls down here. It's gonna be hilarious. But just like that, our fake entrance is completed. And before moving on to building the next trap, I wanna go check on GE real quick to see how he's doing. I secretly placed security cameras on the other side of the competition. So let me just go in my camera monitor and oh my gosh, we can see GE building. All right, just a few more blocks and there we go. My Jack's build looks so good. What do you think of it, Mr. Lettuce Chicken? A lettuce chicken? What in the world is that? You like it? Me too. But little does Bubbles know, I'm gonna be placing a bunch of traps around my entire build with this super secret treasure at the end. Oh no, is that TNT? And we only have eight minutes left to build this, so this is gonna be perfect. Wait, we only have eight minutes left? I gotta quickly get back to my build. All right, since our fake entrance is already complete, we gotta put in the real entrance. And let's make it super duper hidden. Let's look around, and I think this spot right here is gonna work perfectly. So let's go ahead and replace these blocks with ghost blocks. And whoa, you can't even tell that anything is there. But now let's go inside and start building the first trap that GE is gonna have to get through. And it's not gonna be easy because it's gonna be a pit full of deadly sharks. So let's build a pit big enough so that it's impossible to jump across. And now we can start filling it up with water and a bunch of deadly sharks. Wow, look at those hammerhead sharks and great white sharks. GE is gonna be absolutely terrified. Just to prank him even harder, let's put a fake lever right over here with a sign on top that says pull to get to other side. But in reality, when GE pulls this lever, he's gonna get teleported directly into the pit of sharks. Ow, ow, ow. GE is gonna be so mad when he falls for the prank. But now that that's all set up, we gotta give GE an actual way to get across. Let's put a hidden chest right over here disguised as a block of redstone. In the chest, he's gonna find an ender pearl that he can use to teleport to the other side of the pit. And just like that, our shark pit obstacle is completed. I'm curious if GE's gonna be smart enough to figure this out. But now, we can move on to building the next trap. And in this room, GE's gonna have to pick between two chests to open. There's gonna be one on the left and one on the right. If GE decides to open up this chest on the right, it's gonna spawn in this super dangerous praying mantis. Ah! GE's gonna be terrified when he sees 
this praying mantis. But if GE gets it right and opens up the left chest, he can get this lever. And using that lever, he can place it on this target block right here to open up this secret iron door. Let's just test if this works, and let's go! Let's put down some ladders over here that he can climb to get to the next level. For my third trap in my amazing Jax build, I'm gonna be making GE fight a super dangerous mob boss. Let's quickly build out the room, and then we'll make a super secure prison so that the mob can't escape. There we go, and finally to help me spawn in the craziest mob boss you've ever seen in your life, click that like and subscribe button in 3, 2, 1. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that mutant wither skeleton. Let's quickly cover this up, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say it now. I don't think GE's gonna be able to get past this level. But just to help him out a little bit, let's give him some gear to fight with. We're gonna be putting it all inside this password protected chest. We'll make the password 1357, and let's just fill it up with a full set of emerald armor, an emerald sword, and five golden apples. There we go, and all his loot is ready. The only way that GE can figure out this code is by clicking one of these buttons on the wall. And he'll have no idea which ones are good and which ones are bad. But since blue is my favorite color, and also so the best color in the world, we're gonna make it the correct answer, which leaves green and red to be the wrong ones. Pressing the big red button is just gonna instantly pop GE. Pressing the green button is gonna teleport GE into the cage with the mutant wither skeleton. Ah! That was super duper scary. It's gonna be hilarious when GE gets teleported into the cage with no gear at all. Finally, if GE is able to figure it out, he can press this blue button and get the secret code. Just like that, and our boss fight room is completed. But before moving on to building the next trap, I wanna go troll GE real quick. And I have just the perfect prank. I secretly installed a morph mod that lets me change into anything. So let me just open it up and we're gonna be turning into GE. No way, we look exactly like him. Let me break out a few blocks in the wall just like this and we can see GE building. Whoa, my Jax build is turning out so good. I'm almost finished. Okay, quick, before we finish this building, let's just fly up to him and troll him. And wait a second, what's that sound? Uh, GE? Uh, wow, what the what? Uh, uh, I I'm the real GE Viz. W what are you doing here? Wait, w w uh, what? Wait, no, you're not the real GE Viz. I'm the real GE Vids. Uh, are you serious right now? I'm the real GE Vids. No, uh, that's such a lie. But look at me. I'm literally GE Vids. But look at me. I'm literally GE Vids. Wait a second. Is someone pulling my leg here? Well, if you're the real GE Vids, then why don't we 1v1 and see who's real? I'm down, but I'm totally gonna win because I'm the real GE, remember? What the heck? I'm gonna win because I'm the real GE. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whatever, Mr. Imposter, but just remember, we're gonna use our fists only, no cheating. Fists only? Okay, uh, well, let me just grab something real quick. Uh, wait a second, what are you grabbing? Uh, uh, nothing, don't worry about it. Let's just start the fight in three, two, one, go! Let's go! I'm totally gonna beat you. And quick, before he kills me, let's just pull out the shotgun! Ah! <laughs> hey, wait a second, you just cheated, get back here! Alright, now that GE is busy respawning, we gotta do this fast. Let's just go in my inventory and grab a bazooka, and then let's blow up his build. Wait a second. What was that sound? And oh my gosh, my build. No, 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 no. Get back here, Mr. Imposter. Your build. This is my build because I'm the real GE. Uh, no, you're not. You're literally a sussy imposter. Get over here. Ah, no. Get away from me. Get away from me. Ah, ah you're too slow. Oh my gosh. That was super duper weird. Someone just turned into an imposter and we only have five minutes left to finish this build. I gotta hurry up. Wait, what? We only have five minutes left? Let me just turn back to bubbles real quick. Come on, and let's go. I got GE really good with that prank, but now we gotta quickly build our next obstacle. For this obstacle, GE is gonna have to fly all the way to the top of this room with a jetpack. And you might be thinking that's super easy and simple, but not when I add a whole bunch of these super dangerous lasers. So let's just start adding a bunch of these around the room, and... Oh, um, I might have gone a little bit overboard with the lasers, but I think it looks pretty good. He's definitely gonna have a hard time getting through these. Also, just to make this even harder than it already is, I'm gonna place down some lava specks at the bottom so that if he falls, he's gonna get burned. Let's quickly place down a chest and put a jetpack inside, and just like that, our jetpack laser room is completed. Wait a second, we only have two minutes left. We gotta quickly finish this build. For my next obstacle, G is gonna have to pick between two doors, and one's gonna be safe and one's gonna have a trap. And just to make it look cool, let's make this room look like the tent from Digital Circus. There we go. And now we can place on a blue door and a green door. From what we learned earlier, blue is the best color in the world, so it's gonna be the correct answer, while green is gonna be the wrong one. So let's just start building a little trap on the other side of the green door. We're gonna make it out of emerald blocks so it looks just like a treasure room. Then we'll place on a trap chest as the fake treasure chest. When GE goes to open up this chest, it's gonna spawn in a giant King Kong that's gonna destroy him. Holy, this guy looks terrifying! Let's make sure he does enough damage, and okay, he definitely does enough damage. I can't wait to see GE get trolled by this fake treasure room. But now that 
we're done building this trap, we can move on to building our last and final one. Because it's the last and final room, we're going to be building the real treasure room. So let's just build an emerald side and a diamond side. One fact that I know about GE is that he absolutely loves his emeralds, which gives me the feeling that he's going to pick the emerald side. So instead of his prize, let's put a little trap here. When GE goes to collect his fake prize, he's going to levitate through these ghost blocks right over here and float right into these super sharp spikes. Let's test this out. So let me just open up the chest and oh, we're floating. And oh my goodness, the spikes. Ow, ow, ow. That was super duper scary, but at least we know it works. Don't tell him, but we're going to be giving him his favorite items in the game. Emeralds, poisonous potatoes, and green crystals. Let's just fill this chest up all the way and let's go. Just like that, our digital circus jacks build is completed. And it looks like the timer is up as well. So let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Wee! Hey GE. Hey Bubbles. Now that we're done with our builds, who's are we checking out first? Well, since my build is the most awesome, bestest build of all time, we should totally check out mine. Uh, GE, I think you're confused because mine is way better than yours. Uh, really? Let me just peek over at your side and... Ew, that thing stinks. What the heck, GE? Let's just save the best for last and check yours out right now. All right, Bubbles, prepare to be amazed. This is my awesome Jax build. Whoa, what the heck, GE? This is actually pretty good. Oh, wait a second, GE. What? Why in the world is his pocket green? Uh, uh, because Jax loves the color green, remember? Definitely not. Green is the worst color. Wait, what? Are you serious right now? What the heck? That was not nice, GE, but how in the world do I even get in your build? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's your favorite block. My favorite blocks so diamond blocks uh but there's no diamond blocks anywhere here keep looking bubbles i'm sure you'll find it let me just look a little bit closer and wait a second there's diamonds right down here let me try right clicking and looks like i'm in good job bubbles and now that you're inside you're gonna have to get past my super deadly dangerous laser obstacle course to get to your prize what the ge these lasers look super painful but since i'm a pro i'm just gonna breeze through it just like this and wait a second ge that was the easiest course i've ever been through wait what how did you get past it so fast because i'm a professional ge all right Alright, whatever you say, Bubbles, just open up this chest to get your prize. Wait, I'm getting my prize already? Sounds good. Let me just open this up and... Wait a second. What is happening? What is happening? Haha. <laughs> Ow, GE, were those spikes? Yup, you just fell in my trap because this is the fake entrance. Yeah, I did realize that when there was absolutely nothing in the chest. Haha. <laughs> what the heck? Now I have to go find the real one, I guess. Is it in Jax's ugly green pocket over here? No. Nope. Is it in his hand right over here? Doesn't look like it. Not even close. GE, where in the world is this real entrance? I didn't know, Bubbles. You're just gonna have to find it. Uh, GE, how about you give me a little hint? A hint? Uh. Uh, fine, I guess I'll give you a hint, but only under one condition. Yes, and what condition is that? Everyone watching the video, still like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe? Quick, guys, I really want to find this real entrance, so hit that like and subscribe button in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. All right, G, they all liked and subscribed, so now you have to tell me where the entrance is. Wait, what the heck? How did they do it so fast? Because they're super duper cool. Yeah, I guess they are, and because of that, I'm gonna show you the real entrance. Let's go. And I didn't know you didn't find it, Bubbles, because it's literally right over here. What the heck? It was out in the open. I should have seen it. Yeah, but you didn't. But now that we're here, let's walk right on inside. And wait a second, G, what in the world are those? I put a bunch of kingers behind these bars, and you're gonna have to fight them. I'm gonna have to fight Kinger? With what? My bare hands? Yup. What the heck, GE? I'm just kidding, Bubbles. I put a ton of items inside of this chest, so just open it up. Oh, phew. I should have known you were trolling me. Let me just open this up and... A password? Are you serious right now? Haha. <laughs> How am I supposed to get my stuff then, GE? Well, I put two buttons inside of this room. One of them might have the code and one of them might have something else special for you. Uh, two buttons? That means it's a 50-50 chance. Come on, Bubbles. You got this. Come on. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Uh, right, right. I'm going right. Come on. And... Wait a second, GE. Help me. Help. <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles, but there's still one more button left, so let's try clicking it. I can't believe I'm so unlucky I picked the wrong one. Well, let me just try pressing this one, and ooh, a piece of paper just fell down, and it looks like it has the code on it. Let's go. Now, let me just type in 5555, and nice, I got a machine gun and some bullets. Nice shot, Bubbles, and now that you have all the items, I'm gonna drop the walls in three, two, one, fight. Charge. Wait, I'm taking them out so fast, GE. Come on, Kingers, get them. I gotta eliminate them quick. Come on. Just one.
one more. And I got him. Nice job, Bubbles. You got all the kingers. And now that you clear this room, we can move on to the next section. Let's go. Wee. And this next room is going to be extremely difficult. So get ready, Bubbles. Uh, I'm a little bit scared, but wait a second. Is this a parkour? Yep, but it's not just any regular parkour. There's a ton of lava spikes in the bottom. Whoa, that looks extra dangerous. I better not fall then. But to be completely honest with you, GE, I'm actually a parkour professional. I've been training for the past 500 years. Wait, what the heck? 500 years? How is it even possible? Don't worry about that, GE. It's possible for me. And now let me just do some calculations if I jump over there on this fence with a latitude of three and I... Wait, what the heck's happening? Haha! <laughs> There's no way you just failed the first jump. I think you're more of a parkour noob, Bubbles. Uh, uh, because, uh, you must have made this slippery. But I'm not gonna waste any more time and I'm just gonna breeze through this. Let me just get around this ladder over here. Come on. Nice, but can you make it to the end? Oh no, I'm so close to the spikes. I can feel their heat, but I got this. Come on, one more jump, and I did it. Nice job, Bubbles. I guess you're not that bad after all, but now we can move on to the next section. Let's go. And wait, G, what in the world is this? Well, since the last room was super duper difficult, I decided to make this room easy. You just gotta walk through. Oh, wait, what, G? That's so nice of you. Let me just walk through. Wait. Uh, G-G-G, what's happening? Um, wh why can't I walk through? Oh, uh, I didn't know, Bubbles. I think you're lagging or something. I mean, it, it does look like I'm lagging, but you said it was easy. Why can't I get through it? Come on, Bubbles. You just gotta try harder. Come on, come on. What the heck, G? This is literally impossible. I don't know about that, Bubbles. You just gotta fix your internet. What the heck? I have the fastest internet in the world, so that's definitely not the issue. There's gotta be something else here that I'm missing. And wait a second. G, do I see a trip wire over here? Uh, a trip what? I don't know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're doing, GE. Let me just break this trip wire, and now I can walk through. And wait a second. There's a bunch of blazes everywhere. What the heck? Come on, blazes. Get them. Oh, no. Let me hide real quick. And wait. I can use the machine gun from earlier. Wait, what the? No, I died. Haha. <laughs> Come on. Let me just keep shooting these blazes. Come on. The last one's over there. And I got him. Nice job, Bubbles. You made it through. And now there's no more tricks left. Let's make it to the end. Let's go. And GE, what in the world is this? Bubbles, are you gonna go down the green hole, the blue hole, or the pink hole. The green, the blue, or the pink? Well, in this case, I could care less about the colors. Let's just see what's at the bottom of each. And wait a second, it looks like at the bottom of the pink one, there's some water. It's definitely gotta be the safe one, so let me just jump down real quick. And what the heck, I died! Haha! <laughs> are you serious right now? That literally looked like water. Yup, yeah, but there's still two more holes left, so which one are you going down? The blue or the green? Well, I definitely don't want to go in the green one, so I'm just gonna jump down the blue one. And wait a second, why am I dying? Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. I put a bunch of poisonous water down there. What the heck, GE? Blue is supposed to be the right answer because it's the best color. Oh, uh, no, it's not. Blue's the stinkiest color of all time. What the? I'm just gonna pretend you didn't say that, GE. But I guess since green is the last hole, I'm gonna have to jump in it. Let's go. Come on. And wait, I'm actually safe. Yup, because you chose the best color of all time. Never mind that, GE. There's literally a sign right here that says press for prize. Are you sure you're gonna press it, Bubbles? I mean, there is another button over here. What the heck, GE? Can you not read? It literally says press to get wrecked here. And who wants to get wrecked? Uh, probably you, Bubbles, because you kept dying in all those traps. What do you mean? I barely even died in those traps, and I'm about to get my prize by pressing this button. What the heck is that, Zubal from Digital Circus? Get him, Zubal, get him! And how in the world did she get a bow? All right, Zubal, you're gonna go down. Come on, come on, come on, and what the heck? It's all right, Bubbles, try to. Let me just keep punching her real quick, and I got her. Nice job, Bubbles, but wait a second. Why is there poop over here? Ew, what the? Gee, did you poop? Uh, no, I think that was totally you. Oh, uh, well, whoever smelt it, dealt it. Oh my gosh, that's so not fair, Bubbles. And you know what? There's still one more button over here, so let's see if you press it. What the heck? I don't want to get wrecked, but I guess if it's the only button left, I'll press it. Wait, I just teleported to the next room. Nice job, Bubbles. And now you have only one more decision left. Are you going to choose the blue treasure or the green treasure? The blue or the green? Well, GE, you're literally asking me if I'm picking the beautiful color or the nasty color. And I definitely want the beautiful one. All right, suit yourself, Bubbles. Let's see what's inside. Let me just open it up and I'm in the void. Haha. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious right now, G? That was not nice. Well, there's still one more treasure left. The green treasure. Ew, since it's the last one, I guess I'll go for it then. Let me open up the chest and... Whoa, a bunch of diamonds and rotten flesh. But what, what is that sound? Ah! 
<laughs> what the heck, G? How did I just get blown up? There's no way you just fell for that bubbles, and now this is your real prize. Ew, is that dirt? Get that away from me. I think I'm still the real winner here because I still got some rotten flesh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ew, why are you eating that? Get out of here. Ah! Wait, G, now that I've seen your build, do you want to check out mine? Of course, bubbles. Let's go. Whee! When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. All right, let me turn around and oh my gosh. How in the world did you build this in 10 minutes? What do you mean? Because I'm the world's best Minecraft builder. Yeah, I didn't know about that, Bubbles, but this build is massive. How in the world do I even get inside? I'll give you a hint, G. It's your favorite color. My favorite color is so green. Hmm, I gotta be on the lookout for this then because I don't see any green around here. You gotta look a little bit closer. Come on, where is it? Oh, it's on the side of his head. Nice. Let me just try clicking on it and there we go. Welcome to the first obstacle where you're gonna have to follow this trail of emeralds if you want them all. These trail of emeralds will say less. I'm gonna collect every single one. Let me just jump over this laser and nice. Whoa, you're speedrunning it, GE. Of course I'm speedrunning it. This course is easy peasy. How in the world did you get through this laser so fast? Because I had to collect the emeralds, obviously, and there's still two more left, so I'm gonna go get them. Let's go and wait a second. What the what? Haha, <laughs> I just fell down and got killed by the ender golem. Ah! Are you serious, Rainio Bubbles? Does that mean I can't get the emeralds? Nope, you can't because this is the fake entrance. Oh my gosh. Where in the world is the real one then? You gotta go look for it. Maybe it's inside of his eye and no. Nope. Or maybe it's inside of his hand and oh my gosh. No, no, no. Bubbles, I can't find this entrance anywhere. Can you please give me a hint? Fine, I'll give you a... Psych, I'm not giving you any hints, GE. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait, what? Are you sure about that? Uh, uh, whoa, what the heck is that, GE? Put it away, I'll tell you where it is. Let's go. I made it super duper hidden right on Jax's hip over here. Wait, what? That's totally impossible to find. I know, I'm literally the best hider in the world, but now that you're inside, welcome to my shark pit room. You're gonna have to try and find a way to get across. Oh no, these sharks look super scary. Yep, and they're super duper hungry as well. Well, there's gotta be a way to get out of here and wait a second, there's a lever over here that says pull to get to the other side. I'm definitely gonna pull it. Let's go. And wait a second. What the heck? Haha, <laughs> you just got teleported into the pit. Ow, ow, ow. I can't believe you just fell for that, GE. I would never make it that easy for you. Are you serious, Radio Bubbles? This room's literally impossible. Come on, GE. Don't give up that easily. You just gotta think outside the box. You're right, Bubbles. Never back down. Never give up. Maybe there's something else around this room. Come on. I just gotta keep looking. And wait, this redstone block looks really saucy. What if I just try right clicking on it? And Whoa, there's an ender pearl. No way, you actually figured it out. All right, so if my calculations are correct, I can use my ender pearl to get to the other side. Let's see if you can land it. All right, I just gotta run super carefully, MLG, and I made it. No way, that was so sick, GE. But now that you made it across, you can open up this door and move to the next room. And wait a second, what the heck is this? In this room, you're gonna have to pick if you wanna open up the left chest or the right chest. The left or the right chest? Well, hmm, since left is left and right is right, I'm gonna open the right chest. Let's go. And wait a a second. What the heck is this? You just spawned in a praying mantis. Am I getting eaten alive? Wait, what? Get over here, praying mantis. Looks like you got rid of the praying mantis, but I can't believe you picked the wrong chest, GE. Well, it wasn't that bad after all. I got another emerald. There's gonna be a lot more waiting for you after these traps, so just open up this chest and move on to the next room. Alright, so let me just open up this chest, and nice. There's a lever inside of here. Yep, but what are you gonna do with it? Well, hmm, this target block looks different from all the other blocks, so I'm gonna place it here. Let's go. Oh. Nice, you figured it out. But, oh no, is that a mutant wither skeleton? Yep, look at his two massive swords and you're gonna have to fight him. Wait, what? How am I supposed to beat him? Well, I figured you would ask that because he is way stronger than you, so I put a bunch of items in this chest right over here. Oh, phew, so let me just open it up and... Wait a second, are you serious right now? Why is there a password? Ha 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 The only way to figure out the password is by playing button roulette with these buttons over here. Button roulette? That sounds kind of scary, but... Oh, there's a big red button over here. I'm gonna press it and wait a second. What the? <laughs> Why would you press the red one? It's obviously gonna be bad. Well, because it was big and shiny. I had to press it. What the heck? Well, out of these last two buttons, which one are you gonna press? Hmm, well, I have a choice between the stinky blue button and the beautiful big green button over here. So I'm gonna press the green button. Let's go. And wait a second. What the heck? You just got teleported in. Ah! Gee, there's no way you pressed the green one too. It's a nasty color as well. That's totally not true, but... Does that mean I have to press the blue button? Yep, the beautiful luscious blue button. Oh no, uh, I don't want to press it. What the heck, GE, but it's the last one left. Oh my gosh, okay, for Grimace.
And wait a second, it just dropped a code. Yep, that's the code to the chest. Nice, so let me just type in 1357. And whoa, there's a bunch of emerald armor, an emerald sword, and a golden apple. Dang, Jay, you're looking super cool. Yep, I'm so ready to fight now. Wither Skeleton, bring it on. The cage is dropping in three. Two, one, fight! Come on, come on, come on! And wait a second, what the heck? No way, you already died! It's alright, try to! He looks like he's doing so much damage to you, GE. I think I gotta eat my golden apple real quick. Can you get him? Come on, just a few more hits! And I got him! Whoa, you just completely destroyed him! Yup, and he even dropped his head right over here! Ew, that's gross, GE, throw that away! Haha! <laughs> but now that you defeated the Mewtwo with the skeleton, you can open up this door and move on to the next obstacle. And wait a second, what the heck is this? this welcome to my laser jetpack room you're gonna have to grab the jetpack from that chest and fly it all the way up to the door your laser obstacle course and ow 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 what the heck, G? How did you die from the laser already? These lasers are no joke. I gotta be super duper careful. But hold on. Wait a minute. I'm gonna open up this chest real quick. And there's a jetpack. Let's go. That jetpack looks super cool on you. But can you fly it? I think so. Let me just turn it on real quick. And nice. Whoa, you're actually making it through. Come on. I just gotta be really careful. You got this. And wait a second. It's going too fast. I'm losing control. What the heck? Ah! Gee, you were so close to getting to the exit. How did you lose control? I don't know, Bubbles, but I got this. Come on. You got it. You got it. And I did it. Oh, yeah. Gee, welcome to the Digital Circus tent room where you're going to have to pick which exit door you're going to go through. The blue one or the green one? The blue door or the green door? That's the easiest choice of my life. I'm going to go through the green door. Let's go. And wait a second. Bubbles, is this a treasure? Yep, you made the good decision and now you can get your prize. Let's go. This is super duper awesome. And wait a second. What the heck? You just got crushed by King Kong. Get out of here. Haha, <laughs> gee, you just picked the wrong door. That was super duper scary, Bubbles. But wait, does that mean I have to go through the blue door? Yep, you should be happy doing that because it's the best color in the world. Uh, hold on. Let me just smell this door real quick. Ew, I don't want to go inside this. What the heck, gee? It literally smells amazing. Whoa, that smells so good. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh, I don't know what you're talking about, but wait, I have an idea. Uh, what is your idea, GE? I'm gonna break some walls in the digital circus over here. Hey, what are you doing? And then use that to build over the door. Let's go. What the heck, GE? That's literally cheating. But I guess I'll let you go through. And now that you finally picked the right door, you can choose your prize, the emerald treasure or the diamond treasure. The emerald or the diamond treasure? I'm gonna choose the diamond side. Sake, we're going to the emerald. You had me confused there for a second, GE, because you always pick the emerald one. Yeah, because emerald's the best block in the world, and now that I chose the right side, I'm gonna open up my prize. Let's go, and wait a second. Why is it empty? And why am I levitating? GE, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Haha, <laughs> you just got wrecked by some spikes. That's so not fair, Bubbles. Does that mean I have to actually go in the diamond side? Yep, because it's literally the best, GE. All right, whatever you say, Bubbles. I'm gonna open up this diamond chest over here. And whoa, there's a bunch of emeralds, green crystals, and poisonous potatoes. Yep, all your favorite things. Let's go. All right, now that we went through each other's builds, I think that my jacks was way better. That's so cap, Bubbles. But guys, keep watching to see who wins this build challenge. But we still have a lot more rounds to go through. So why don't we flick? this lever. All right, come on. Let's see who we get. It looks like we got Pomni. Let's go. Pomni's the best, but we only have 10 minutes to build our Pomni, so let's go. Go, go, go. Now that GE can't hear me anymore, it's time to cheat. So let me just go and chat and type slash slash draw. And look at that. We just got some super cool painting materials. Let's not waste any more time and get started on our Pomni. To make the perfect Pomni, we're gonna have to start with her red and blue shoes just like this. And obviously draw her some legs. There we go. These legs are looking pretty good to me. With the drawing of the legs completed, it should have turned into a build and look at that this is so cool we have pomni's legs right over there now that we got the legs it's time to draw the body we're gonna have it half blue and half red just like this with the buttons and collar on top let's not forget the arms either pomni would look a little bit weird if she didn't have any arms so let's just finish this up real quick just like that we finished painting her body and i hope it looks good in the build let's check it out real quick and wait a second this looks absolutely amazing this is working out way better than i thought and now we only have the head left so let's quickly get back into the slash slash draw and start drawing the face Let's draw her wide eyes with the red and blue pupils, give her a mouth and a little bit of blush right under her eyes, and obviously we can't forget her hair, and her ginormous clown hat. Quickly add some finishing touches, and there we go, our Pomni drawing is completed! Which also means that the build should be too. Whoa! We're so ahead of G right now, but it's time to put in some traps. And for my first trap, I'm gonna be making a fake entrance. Where should we put it? Hmm. I know, let's put it right in between Pomni's buttons over here. So let me just break out a few blocks, and replace them with doors disguised as emerald blocks to 
need GE over here. Let's head inside and start building our trap. For the fake entrance, I'm going to be making GE cross some super dangerous bridges. So let's build the bridges out like this. Then underneath these bridges, we're just going to spawn in a bunch of these deadly sharks. Holy moly, look how scary they look. To make this even more difficult, we're going to replace some blocks on this left bridge into ghost blocks. So now when GE goes to cross this bridge, he's just going to fall into the pit of sharks. And ah, they're eating me alive. Ow, ow, ow. I can't wait to see GE fall for this trap. But if GE is able to make it across on the safe bridge, he's going to be met with something that he's going to think is his prize. In reality though, it's going to be a trap. When he opens up the chest, it's going to spawn in a charged creeper and boom, he's going to get exploded. And just like that, our fake entrance is completed. But before moving on to building the next trap, I want to go check on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly placed security cameras on the other side of the competition. So let me just go inside my camera monitor and holy smokes, we can see GE building his palm knee. All right, just a few more blocks and there we go. My palm knee looks so good. What do you think of it, Sonic? Sonic? Why is GE talking to Sonic? Wait, why are you running away? Get over here. What the? GE's gone crazy. But little does Bubbles know, I'm going to fill my entire palm knee with a bunch of traps with the super secret treasure at the end. TNT? Oh no. And we only have eight minutes left, so this is going to be perfect. Wait a second. We only have eight minutes left. I got to quickly go back to my build done. And since we already finished the fake entrance, it's time to put in the real one. To make it super hidden, let's put it right inside of Pomni's eye with some ghost blocks as the entrance. This way, GE won't even be able to tell that anything's there. But now, let's go inside and start building our first official trap. For my first trap, I'm going to make GE pick between two levers. One is going to be deadly and one is going to be safe. Let's first build out the room and then we'll place a lever down on the right side and one on the left side. If GE decides to pull the lever on the left, it's going to spawn in a hostile Pomni that's going to take him down. Ow, ow, ow. Make sure to stick around to see if Pomni can take GE down. But if GE picks the lever on the right, he's going to be able to get the code to this password protected door. Let's see if this works and look at that. We got the paper with the code on it. Let's type it in real quick and now we can move on to building our next trap. For the next trap, GE is going to have to fight a massive evil dinosaur. We're going to have to make this room super tall just to be able to spawn him in. And we're also going to have to use some reinforced iron bars just so that he doesn't escape. This should be safe enough now. So it's time to spawn in the evil dinosaur. To help me spawn it in, you have to hit that like and subscribe button in 3, 2, 1. Thank you for subscribing and oh my goodness, this thing is terrifying. We got to quickly cover this cage up and okay, we should be safe from it now. To be completely honest, I have no idea how GE is going to be able to defeat this thing. But to make it a little bit more fair, let's give him some gear to fight with. To earn all his items, he's going to have to find three chests hidden around the room. Let's put the first one right above the entrance where he's least likely to look. And we'll put in a dragon scale helmet and a dragon scale chest plate. The second chest is going to be even more difficult to find because it's going to be right inside of this wall behind some very large paintings. This chest is going to hold the dragon scale leggings and the dragon scale boots. Let's cover this up and where should we put the last and final chest? Ooh, I know, let's disguise it as an iron bar. This might look like a regular iron bar from the outside, but if you right click it, it's actually a secret chest. And inside we'll give him a fairy sword and five golden apples. Just like that, our evil dinosaur fight room is completed. Make sure to stick around to see who wins between GE and this massive dinosaur. But for now, let's move on to building the next trap. For my next obstacle inside my Pomni build, I'm going to make GE maneuver through some lasers and lava on a motorcycle. So let's go ahead and build out the hallway first. And now we can start setting up some lava and some lasers. We're going to make it super hard to maneuver through. Just add in some more lasers and lava. There we go. And our laser lava course is completed. Let's actually try this out to see if it's hard enough. Let me just start driving forward slowly. And oh my goodness, we're already on fire. And what the heck? Ah, all right. So I guess it definitely is hard enough. I have a super cool idea for my next trap. But before moving on to building it, I want to go troll GE. And I have just the perfect prank. So let me just fly up to this chest right over here. And we could grab a Pomni spawn egg and a potion of invisibility. Now that we have our items, let's break out a few blocks in the wall just like this. And oh my goodness, we can see GE building. My Pomni's turning out so good. I'm almost finished. Okay, quick. Before GE finishes, let's splash this invisibility potion on ourselves and then fly straight over to him. And look at that, guys. He has no idea I'm right behind him. Let's not waste any more time and let's start spawning in all of these Pomni's. Wait a second. What's hitting me? In oh my gosh. Are these a bunch of Pomni's? They're chasing him. Get out of here. Why are you attacking me? Come on. Let's see if the Pomni's can get GE. Oh no. I'm only on half a heart. Maybe this TNT will do something. What the? Where did he get that TNT? Come on. Maybe I can trap them and... Oh no, I just died. Haha, <laughs> it didn't even work. Okay, quick, while GE is busy respawning, let's go in our inventory real quick and grab this bazooka. And then let's blow up his build. Run away, run away. Whoa, that was so weird. I didn't know where all those palm knees came from, but wait a second. What the heck happened to my build? Guys, he noticed it. There's an explosion in the middle of the ground. Wait, what happened? <laughs> he has no idea that it was me. This is terrible, and we only have five minutes left to finish this. This is so bad. Wait, what? We only have five minutes left? I gotta quickly go back to my build. 
build done. Cover this up real quick and let's go. All right, we gotta build this fast. For this trap, I'm gonna be making a find the button with a twist. The twist is that every single one of these buttons is actually just gonna destroy him. Let's just go ahead and try some of these out. And it looks like it seems to all be working. We're also gonna be putting down a special green button and a special blue button. Since green is just such a nasty color, if he presses it, it's gonna spawn in this poisonous cave spider. And GE hates spiders, so it's gonna be hilarious to see his reaction. And since blue is the best color in the world, it's gonna automatically teleport him to the next room. For my next obstacle, GE is gonna have to walk across a tightrope above a bunch of spikes. Let's finish up the room and now we can add a whole bunch of different types of spikes. Put the last two over there and whoa, this actually looks super sick. Let's go ahead and make the tightrope out of these super thin iron bars. It's gonna be extremely difficult for GE to keep his balance on these. Looking good. Just to make this even more difficult, I'm gonna spawn in some skeletons into the walls that can knock him down with arrows. There we go. Let's go ahead and check if they would actually knock him down and looks like they do. Ow! The only way that GE can actually make it across without getting knocked down by the skeletons is by finding the secret hidden chest right over here. There's gonna be a shield inside of this chest that he can use to protect himself from the arrows. But just like that, my spikes tightrope room is completed. Wait a second, we only have one minute left. We gotta quickly build our last trap. For the last and final obstacle, GE's gonna have to pick if he wants the emerald treasure or the diamond treasure. Let's build out the hallways first and then we'll place a chest at the end of each one of them. There we go. And we already know that because diamonds are better than emeralds, the emerald chest is gonna be a trap. If GE decides to open up this trap chest, it's gonna activate this redstone signal connected all the way to this dispenser. Inside of this dispenser, it's gonna be filled with a whole bunch of poisonous water. Let's make sure it works by opening up this chest and look at that, the poisonous water is flowing down. Ah! Let's hide the dispenser with some vines like this and now we can move on to the diamond side. This side being the correct side, the chest is gonna be filled with a bunch of emeralds, poisonous potatoes, and green crystals, some of GE's favorite things. Fill up the chest real quick and let's go, our Pomni build is completed. Ooh, the timer just went off as well. That was super duper close, but now let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey GE. Hey Bubbles. Now that we're done with our builds, which one are we checking out first? I think we should check out your build. Psych, mine is way better. What the heck? Fine, let's save the best for last then. The best for last? Why don't we check out the best right now? Check out my Pomni build. What the heck? This is actually not bad. But GE, where in the world are her legs? Uh, uh, Pomni doesn't have legs, remember? Uh, she definitely does, or she wouldn't be able to walk around. But how in the world do I even get in this build. I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's your favorite color. My favorite color? Blue. But there's so much blue everywhere. But my favorite color isn't dark blue. It's light blue. And I see some right over here. Nice. But what happens if you walk through? Let me try it out. And looks like I made it inside. Nice shot, Bubbles. But now that you're inside, you're gonna have to choose between the blue roller coaster and the green roller coaster. The blue minecart or the green minecart? Well, since it's been established that blue is my favorite color, I'm obviously gonna choose the blue. Alright, so let's see what's inside. Come on, it's gotta be something good. Good. And are you serious right now? Are these lava spikes? Ow! <laughs> what the heck, man? Blue is supposed to be the right answer. Yeah, I don't know about that, Bubbles. Blue is super stinky, so you should go in the green minecart. The real stinky color is green. What do you mean, GE? I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. Just go in the green minecart already. I mean, it is the only option left, so I guess I'll do it. All right, so let's see what's inside. Come on, it better be something good this time. And wait a second. Why are there so many zombies? Ah! Are you serious, Rainy LGE? Both of them suck. Is this the fake entrance? There's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. This is the fake entrance. What the heck? Well, I guess I gotta go find the real one then. Is it in Pomni's hat over here? Nope. Nope. Then it's gotta be in her face right over here. What the? Not even close. GE, where in the world is the real entrance? The real entrance? Hmm, are you sure I should tell you? Yeah, come on. Just give me a hint. Give me a hint. Fine, I guess I'll give you a hint, but only under one condition. And what condition is that? Everyone watching the video still like and subscribe right Right now like and subscribe quick guys i really want to find this real entrance so hit that like and subscribe button in three two one thank you for subscribing all right g they all like to subscribe so tell me where it is now fine i guess i'll show you bubbles just follow me what the heck it was here the whole time yup i have no idea how you didn't find it but if you just walk right through you can make it inside wait a second ge are these a bunch of lasers yup this is my laser obstacle course and if you want to make it to the end you have to go all the way through well to be honest ge these lasers don't even look like they hurt so i'm just gonna walk right through and ow oh my goodness that actually hurts so bad i guess i really have to be careful yup 
happen if you get hit by too many lasers, then you're gonna die. Oh no, well, I'm already low, so I better get started. And come on, let me just make it through here. And I think the right side is a dead end, so I'm gonna go through the left. Good choice, Bubbles, but can you make it to the end? I definitely can, GE, because I'm a professional. And shoot, the spikes are actually doing a lot of damage to me. You got this, Bubbles, come on. Let me try making this jump over here. And holy, I'm at one heart, GE. Let me just maneuver this way. And this is so scary. Wait, GE, why is there a chest over here? I don't know, Bubbles. You should open it up and see what's inside. Let me open it up and let's go. A golden apple. Now I'll be healthy enough to get through the rest of this obstacle. Let me carefully jump over this chest. And we got one more jump, Bubbles. Come on. I'm not a chicken. I'm just gonna do it. Let's go. Ooh, that was really scary, but GE... What in the world is that? These are some mutant skeletons, and you're gonna have to fight them. I'm gonna have to fight them? With what? My bare hands? Yup. What the heck? How am I supposed to do that? I'm just kidding, Bubbles. I had five items around this room, and you're gonna have to find it. Five items around this room? But I don't even see anything. I guess I'll start by looking through these barrels over here. Come on, come on. And wait, I just found some diamond leggings. Let's go, but there's still four more chests left. All right, well, let me just keep looking around, and I just found another one in this corner. Oh, yeah, diamond helmet. Nice. And these buttons on the wall must do something so let me just try pressing all of them and oh i just found another chest grab that diamond chest plate and i'm looking so geared up nice job bubbles but there's still two more items left let me try to keep looking through these barrels come on there's got to be something in one of these and look at that i just found my weapon a saw sword yup i heard the skeletons hate those it looks kind of weak but i'll trust you ge now where is this last item i've been looking everywhere and i can't find it i'm sure you'll find it bubbles you just gotta think outside of the box hmm let me just look at the details of the room and wait a second this block looks different from all the other ones let me try stepping on it and whoa what the i knew there was something suspicious about that block now i can open up this chest and grab my final piece of armor looks like you found it bubbles but now that you have all your gear the walls are gonna open in three two one let's go what the these mutant skeletons are doing so much damage to me already come on let me just keep fighting him and no, I died. Come on, I just gotta stay persistent. And look at that, Bubbles. That skeleton's already bleeding. Well, that must mean he's almost defeated. Let me just hit him a few more times, just like this. Come on, come on. And let's go. I got one of them. Now there's only one more left, and I'm feeling myself. So let me just hit him like this. You got this, Bubbles. I think I'm about to win, GE, and I did it. Let's go. You got the skeletons, and now that you defeated them, you can make it on to the next section. Sounds good, but GE, what in the world is this? You're gonna have to choose between the left water slide and the right water slide. Hmm, the left water slide or the right one? Well, the right is right, so it's gotta be the right one. Let me just grab this boat from the chest, and let's see where this takes us. Come on, we're flowing down, and wait, what is happening? Ha <laughs> ha! What in the world, GE? Was that a whole bunch of sharks? Yup, and they just ate you alive. Are you serious, Rainia? Well, I guess that leaves me with the left side, then. So let me just grab the boat from this chest right here, and let's see where this left stream takes us. Come on, let's see. And wait, I think I just made it to the next room. Good job, Bubbles, but now that you made it down my water slide, you can open up this chest and see what's inside. Ooh, is it gonna be my prize? Let me try opening it and there's a lever inside, but why are there so many mobs everywhere? Haha, <laughs> get them, mobs, get them. Come on, I just gotta fight them off. Ah, oh, I died. What the heck, GE? Where did all these mobs come from? And my sword broke too, so I just gotta finish off these mobs with my hands. You got this, Bubbles. Only one mob left. Come here, skeleton. Don't be shooting your arrows at me anymore. Can you get them? I think I got them, GE. Let's go. Nice job, Bubbles, but wait a second. Why is there poop here? Uh, uh, it it must have been one of the mobs, GE. It must have been one of the mobs. I don't know about that, Bubbles. I think it was you. <laughs> Are you serious right now? I don't know what you're talking about, GE. It was definitely that skeleton because I was destroying him so hard. Yeah, whatever you say, Bubbles. But now that you took out all the mobs, you have to find a way out of here. You're right. Well, I did get a lever earlier, so it must be to open up this iron door over here. Let me just place it down, and there we go. Good job, Bubbles. But now you have to get through my ultra-difficult spring parkour. GE, I do have to let you know I'm a parkour professional, so this is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Whatever you say, Bubbles, I made this parkour extremely difficult, so there's no way you're getting past this. Well, we'll just wait and see. Let me just make this first jump right over here, and look at that, GE. I'm breezing through this like it's nothing. Wait, what? But how? I told you, man, I'm a parkour professional, and wait a second. Oh, oh, oh no. Ow, ow, ow. Haha, <laughs> there we go. That wasn't my fault. Those fences were just extra slippery for some reason. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, but can you make it to the end? Well, I definitely can. Let me just bounce on the spring, and look at that. I made it. Good 
good job, Bubbles, but now that you're at the end, you have the most important question of your life. Are you gonna choose the blue treasure or the green treasure? The blue treasure or the green? Well, let me just use my big brain 400 IQ calculating, and it's telling me that the blue is the right one. All right, so what happens if you open it? What do you mean? It's obviously gonna have my prize inside, and what the heck, I'm in the void. Oh! Haha, <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles, and now you only have one more option left, the green treasure. What the heck? I hate the green treasure, but I guess I'll have to take it. Let me just open up this chest and wait a second. A bunch of diamonds, rotten flesh, and golden apples. It wasn't so bad after all. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wait, why, why are you actually eating it? Get out of here. Ah! Gee, now that I've seen your build, do you want to check out mine? Of course, Bubbles. Let's go. Wee. When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. All right, so let me see. And oh my gosh. Uh, how in the world did he build this in 10 minutes? Because I'm just a pro builder. Don't you love my absolutely amazing Pomni? This is amazing, Bubbles. This might just be too amazing. How in the world did he build this? I told you, GE, I just got some super high level skills. I don't know about that, Bubbles, but your build's absolutely massive. How do I even get inside this thing? I'll give you a hint, GE. It's your favorite color. My favorite color? so green. Hmm, let me look super duper carefully and maybe I'll find some green around here. And aha, I just found it. Nice. Let me just open these up real quick and there we go. Welcome to the first obstacle. You're gonna have to pick if you want to go on the left bridge or the right bridge. The left or the right? Well, hmm, right definitely means right. So I'm gonna go on the left bridge. Let's go and wait a second. What the? Haha, <laughs> you just fell into a pit of sharks. Ow, 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 I'm getting eaten alive. I can't believe you just fell for that, GE. Was that a bunch of ghost blocks? That's no fair, Bubbles. Yep, and now your only option is the right bridge. Alright, I guess I have to take this super duper slow and steady. Please don't eat me, Mr. Sharks. And ah! Haha, <laughs> gee, that was the safe bridge. You had nothing to worry about. But now that you made it across, you could collect your prize. Wait, I can get my prize already? That was super duper easy. Let me just open this up and wait a second. What the heck? <laughs> you just got blown up by a charge creeper. Wait, what the? So is this a fake entrance? Yep, which means that you have to go find the real one. Oh my gosh, are you serious right now? Maybe it's inside of her hand and no. Nope. Or maybe it could be inside of her shoulder and oh my. Not even close. I can't find this entrance anymore anywhere. Can you please give me a hint? Hmm, I'm not gonna give you a hint, GE. Are you sure about that, Bubbles? I think you do want to give me a hint. <laughs> what in the world? GE, please put that away. Ah, what the heck? I'll tell you where it is. Let's go. I don't know how you couldn't find it, GE. It's right inside of Pomni's eye. Wait, what the? I could have totally found this. Are you serious right now? Well, you didn't. And now that you made it inside, are you gonna pull the right lever or the left lever? The left or the right lever? Well, hmm, I totally learned my lesson from last time. Since the right one was right last time, I'm gonna pull the left one. Let's go and wait a second. Is that a Pomni? Haha, <laughs> a Pomni just spawned in on you. Get out of here. I have to reach the exit door and what the? There's a password. Haha, <laughs> Pomni, get him, get him. Maybe I can push her outside of the exit. Come on, come on, come on. And I got her. Let's go. What the heck? How did you even survive that? Because I'm built different bubbles. But now that I pulled the left lever, I'm going to pull the right one. Let's go. And it looks like a piece of paper popped out. Let me just pick it up and it says 9876. Oh, I think that must be the password. So let me just type in 9876 and we made it. Let's go. You did it, GE. Yup, but wait a second. Is that a mutant dinosaur? Yup, it's super duper powerful and you're gonna have to fight it. Wait, what the? But there's only one chest over here. Yup, and that's all you get. Wait, what? Really, dude? I'm just kidding, GE. Other than that chest over there, there's two more hidden around the room. So there's three chests in total. Got it. Let me open up this chest right over here and I got this dragon scale helmet and a dragon scale chest plate. Whoa, you're already looking so cool. But can you find the other two chests? I'm sure I can. Wait a second. Is this another Among Us painting? Yup, GE. Isn't it so sussy? Yup, maybe this one's the imposter. Get out of here. And wait a second. Maybe I can punch all these paintings to get off of the wall. Looks like you figured it out. All right, so let me just punch all of these paintings right over here. And I found it. Let's go. Check what's inside. And we got the rest of the dragon scale armor. Now that you completed your armor set, you're gonna need a weapon, which is in the last chest that you didn't find yet. Yeah, that's so true. So where in the world is this chest. Maybe if I just punch all around this room right over here. Come on, come on, come on. And I found it. Let's go. No way. And we got a fairy sword and some golden apples. That's super duper cool. And seeing that you're ready for battle now, the cage is going to open up in three, two, one. 
one fight come over here mutant dinosaur you're gonna go down what the what are all these things in the ground he's spawning in wither skeletons too oh no are these a bunch of ohio mobs haha <laughs> you died it's okay bubbles i already got the dinosaurs and so now i just have to get all these skeletons come on just one more hit and i got him nice and look he even dropped his head down ew G, that's super gross but now that you defeated the dinosaur from ohio you can open up that door to move to the next room let's go let's see what's inside and whoa is that a motorcycle? Yep, and you're gonna have to carefully maneuver it through these lasers and lava. Well, lucky for me, because I'm a driving pro. Let me just use this motorcycle really quick. Come on, come on, come on. Can you do it? I think I can, Bubbles. I already see the door right over here. Let's go. And wait a second. What the? No way, you died. Now you're gonna have to start from the very beginning again. Are you serious, Rainio Bubbles? Well, good for me, because this course looks easy peasy. Let's see if you can make it through safely this time. Come on, and ow, I just caught on fire. You're literally on fire, GE, but you did make it through. Let's go, and hopefully I don't burn to death. And it looks like you didn't. Welcome to the next obstacle where you're gonna have to find the button. Find the button? But there's so many. Yep, so you better get started. All right, so let me just press all these buttons and... Really, dude? What the heck? What the heck? How'd you die already? Oh, uh, this room is super rigged and... Really, dude? Are you serious? No way, you just died again. Come on, surely this button has to do it. Oh my gosh. Ha ha ha. Does every single button in this room kill you? Uh, that could be a possibility, GE. All right, so if this next button kills me, everyone has to like and subscribe. Well, let's see if it does. Yeah, well, there's no way that's happening. So let me just press it and... What the grimace? Are you kidding me? Haha, uh -huh, I guess everyone has to like and subscribe now. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Bubbles. But wait a second, is that a green button right over here? Yep, doesn't it look so pressable? Oh, yeah, yeah, it definitely does. I'm gonna press it now and wait a second, what the? It just spawned in a cave spider. Ew, I hate spiders. Get out of here. Get him, get him. And I got him. Let's go. I have no idea how you survived that cave spider attack, but at least you know the green one is wrong. Fine, I guess the green one is wrong, but wait, why is there a stinky blue? blue button right next to it. What do you mean stinky? It's the best color in the world. The best color in the world? Uh, uh I don't know. I don't want to press it. Come on, GE. Stop being a chicken and just press it. No, 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 no. I can't do it. I can't do it. Are you serious right now, GE? Do you want your prize or not? Fine. I guess that is true, but wait a second. I have an idea. Uh, what is that? I'm gonna break this button right over here, and I'm also gonna break the green button. No, 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 GE. I know what you're gonna do. Don't do it. So if I place the green button right over here and press it, let's go. I made it. What the heck? That was cheating. I call that thinking outside of the box, but wait a second. What even is this room? Whatever, I guess I'll let you through, but this room, this room is a tightrope, and you're gonna have to walk across it without falling into the spikes. A tightrope? Well, that sounds easy peasy. I'm just gonna walk through and make it across. Let's go, and what the? Haha, <laughs> you just got shot by a skeleton. Are you serious, Rainio? Maybe this is gonna be a bit harder than I thought. Come on, let me just take it really slow, and are you serious, Rainio? Ow, ow, ow! Gee, it's not as easy as you think. These skeletons on the side are just gonna knock you down into the spikes. Well, maybe I can fight the skeletons. Come on, get over here. I don't know if that's a good idea, GE. Come on, surely I can hit him a few more times and- Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Not again. GE, you've died like three times in a row. You better find another way to get across. Maybe there's something hidden across this room. Come on, come on, come on. Let me just look super carefully. And aha, there's a chest right here. Yep, and there's a shield right inside. Oh, so I can use the shield against the arrows. Yep, now you can make it across without getting knocked off. All right, this is definitely the way across. Come on, come on, come on. And look at that. They can't even hit you. Yup, but there's still one more skeleton left. Maybe I can just jump across and I made it. Good job, GE. I didn't think you would actually figure that out. But now we can open up this door and move on to the last and final obstacle. Wait, is this my treasure? Yep, but you're gonna have to pick if you want the diamond treasure or the emerald treasure. The diamond or the emerald treasure? Well, hmm, I already know what my favorite block is, so I'm gonna go through the emerald treasure. Let's go. All right, well, let's see what's inside the chest. All right, so let me open it up. And wait a second, there's nothing in here. And ow, ow, ow. Haha, <laughs> you just fell from my trap. Was that a bunch of poisonous water? Wait, what was that? Yep, when you open up the chest, it activated some redstone to this dispenser. I don't know, we had Yap Sanctuary over here, but I guess that means I have to go in the blue treasure. I mean, it is your only option left. So let me just open it up and oh my gosh, we have a bunch of emeralds, poisonous potatoes, and green crystals. Yep, they're all for you. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ew, put those away. You want some bubbles? No, I don't. No, 
no, I don't. Get those away from me. Wait, what the? All right, G, out of those two Pomneys, mine was definitely better. Hmm, I guess yours was kind of good, but I'm definitely still gonna win this build challenge. I don't know about that one, but let's see what character we get next. Come on. It looks like we got Kofmo. Oh no, isn't Kofmo the one that got abstracted? Ah! What the heck, G, get back here. We're not building the abstracted version, we're building the clown. Oh, good thing, Bubbles. That's our own leaf, and we only have 10 minutes to build this, so let's go. I'm gonna win. Now that GE can't hear me anymore, it's time to cheat. So let me just go and try and type slash slash paste. And oh my god, our cough mode build just spawned in. We're so ahead of GE right now, but it's time to put in some traps. And for my first trap, I'm gonna be making a fake entrance. And where should I put it? Hmm. Oh, let's put it right inside of cough mode's eye right over here. Let's go ahead and make the entrance out of ghost blocks disguised as emerald blocks. Emerald blocks are GE's favorite, so this is definitely gonna lure him into our trap. But now that we have the entrance set up, we can start building our actual trap. Let's start by building a room out just like this. And I'm gonna be making a super deadly laser lava course, so this is gonna look super cool. Let's go ahead and start placing down these lasers, and just to show you how dangerous these lasers can be, I'm gonna spawn in this kinger, and look at that, he's already dead. They're extremely powerful, so we might as well call them the sigma lasers. Let's just put down a few more of these sigma lasers, and look at that, our course is already looking super cool. To make this course even more difficult, we're also gonna add in some lava right over here. Now that we're done with the main part of this room, we can give GE his prize at the very end, and I think it would be hilarious if we gave GE a grimace shake as his prize. GE's gonna think it's a normal grimace shake, but when he goes to drink it, he's gonna start levitating into these spikes up here. And he's not gonna be able to do anything to stop it. Let's test if this works by drinking the Grimace Shake. Come on, come on. And look at that, we're floating. And wait, the spikes. That was super duper scary. Make sure to stick around to see GE drink the Grimace Shake. But now that our fake entrance is completed, let's go check on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly placed one way glass on the other side of the competition. So let me just break out a few blocks just like this. And look at that, we can see GE building. All right, just a few more blocks. And there we go. My Kofma looks so good. What do you think of it, Mr. Siren Head? What the? Why is she talking to a Siren Head? And it's even bigger than his build. Wait a second. Why are you running away from it? Get over here. What the heck? But little does Bubbles know, I'm going to fill my entire Kofma with a bunch of traps with this super secret treasure at the end. And we only have eight minutes left to build, so this is going perfect. Wait a second. Is that TNT? And we only have eight minutes left. I got to get back to my build. Go, go, go. And all right, since we already have the fake entrance completed, it's time to put in the real one. And I think it would be really funny if we put it inside of Kofma's big old belly. Let's go ahead and make the entrance out of some secret doors just like this. And look at that, it's so hidden, you can't even tell anything's there. But if you walk up to it and right click the secret doors, they open up just like this. And conveniently, now that we're inside, we can start building our first official trap. For this trap, I'm gonna be making GE pick between two levers, and one of them is gonna spawn in a super scary mob. GE's gonna have to decide if he wants to pull the lever on the right or the lever on the left. If GE pulls the lever on the left, it's gonna spawn in this abstracted cough mo. And what the heck, it does so much damage. Ah! Since the lever on the left is a trap, the lever on the right is gonna bring him to the next room. If he pulls this lever, it's gonna activate this secret iron door just like this. And let's go, our pick the lever room is completed. For the second obstacle in my cough mob build, GE's gonna have to fight a super dangerous mob. Let's build out a room for it first. Next, we'll place down some of these super secure iron bars to make sure that the mob doesn't escape. There we go. And now to help me spawn in this super insane mob boss, hit the like and subscribe button in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing and oh my goodness. Look how terrifying and powerful this guy looks. There's just absolutely no way that GE is going to be able to defeat him. So we're just going to have to give him some gear to help him out. We're going to be giving him a full set of emerald armor and an emerald sword. And it's all going to be inside this password protected chest right over here. Let's set the password to 2468 and let's just go ahead and put everything inside. Hopefully that'll be enough for GE to put up a good fight. But now that that's all in there, we got to give GE a way to figure out the password. And to do that, we're just going to write it in the wall right over here. We got the number two just like this then the number four right next to it let's put the number six on the wall right over here also just to switch things up we're gonna put the number eight on the floor right over here there we go and you might be thinking that this is super easy to figure out but we're gonna be covering the numbers with a whole bunch of paintings let's cover it all up for the number eight on the floor we're gonna cover it with some lime carpet just like this with all of that placed down you can't even tell that there's any numbers anywhere make sure to stick around to see ge fight this absolute monster from ohio but for now we can move on to building the next trap for this next obstacle ge is gonna have to pick between two roller coasters and one of them is gonna be super duper deadly let's make the room for the roller coasters and there's gonna be one on the right and one on the left we'll make the direction of this one go down and the direction of this one go up the roller coaster that's going down is gonna be a trap and it's gonna lead him to a room full of dinosaurs let's build out a bedrock cage just like this so that ge can't escape there we go and now we can spawn in these super dangerous dinosaurs what the heck they're eating me alive ah let's go ahead and finish up this roller coaster and i can't wait to see ge fall for this trap the roller coaster going upwards is gonna be the safe one
gonna lead him to the next room. Let's put down the railings, then make the walls. And yes, sir, our roller coaster room is completed. But before moving on to building the next trap, I wanna go troll GE real quick. So let me just fly right here and grab my invisibility potion, and then we'll break out a few blocks into the wall. And no way we can see GE building his cough mo. Whoa, my cough mo build's turning out so good, but wait a second, I'm super duper hungry. I could really use some poisonous potatoes right now. Did he just say poisonous potatoes? Oh my goodness, guys, I have the perfect prank. Let me just splash this invisibility potion, and then go in my inventory and grab a potato cannon and some poisonous potatoes. Now, before he finishes his build, let's quickly fly over to him. I can't wait to finish his build so I can eat some potatoes right now. Well, G, you don't have to wait because I'm right here to serve them to you. Wait a second, what was that? Was that some poisonous potatoes? No way, guys, we literally poisoned him. That was super duper yummy, but wait a second, where did it come from? Oh, well, I guess I'll keep building. And quick, before he finishes building, let's just kill him with the potatoes. Ah! No way, we actually got him before he responds. We'll grab this bazooka and then we'll blow up his build. Run away, run away, run away. That was super weird. Where did all those potatoes come from? And Oh my gosh, what just happened to my build? G noticed it, but he has no idea that it was me. No, 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 this is super bad. We only have five minutes left and I have to rebuild this entire thing. Wait a second, did he say we have five minutes? I gotta get back to my build then. Cover up this wall and let's go. We gotta quickly build this. For my next obstacle, G's gonna have to walk across this super thin tightrope. Let's make the tightrope out of these super thin iron bars so that it's super hard for GE to keep his balance. There we go. To punish him for falling off, we're gonna fill the bottom of this tightrope room with a whole bunch of different spikes. Okay, and whoa, I would definitely not want to fall into those. To make this tightrope even more difficult, we're just going to spawn in some Zubals right over here. Zubal might seem completely innocent, but if you walk by her on the tightrope, she's going to pull back her bow and knock you off. Ah, what the heck? Let's spawn in one more Zubal over here. The only way that GE can get across without getting knocked off by the Zubals is by using these two dirt blocks right over here. To GE, is just going to look like some decoration, but if he actually breaks the blocks and takes them with him, he can use it to cover up these Zubal holes just like this. With both of them covered, he can safely make it across to the other side. The tightrope room looks super clean, so now we can move on to building the next trap. And oh no, we only have two minutes left. I gotta quickly build this. This next room is gonna be a find the button room where there's gonna be a million buttons and GE's gonna have to find the right one. Other than these stone buttons, there's gonna be a special red button, green button, and blue button. Because green is GE's favorite color, we're gonna be making the green one a trap. Let's go ahead and set up a command block behind the green button, and now when GE goes to press it, it's gonna spawn in this mutant zombie. And oh my goodness, help me! Oh. GE's gonna be terrified when he presses this button. And I think just to troll him a little bit more, we're gonna make the red one a trap as well. When he walks in and presses it, it's just gonna instantly pop him. Haha! <laughs> now that we have all the traps set up, we can move on to the beautiful blue button. Oh my god, it looks so precious. But um, anyway, since blue is the best color in the world, it's gonna be the correct button. GE is not a big fan of blue, but if he figures out it's the right button and presses it, he's gonna teleport to the last and final obstacle. For the last obstacle that GE is gonna have to traverse through, he's gonna have to pick if he wants the diamond treasure or the emerald treasure. Let's put a chest at the end of each hall. Way. And let's be real guys, diamond is way better than emerald, so it's gonna be the correct treasure. Which leaves this stinky emerald to be the wrong one. <laughs> it's time for me to set up a trap. Let's replace the blocks right in front of the chest into ghost blocks. And now when GE walks up to collect his treasure, he's just gonna fall right through. And I think it would be super funny if GE fell into some mines. So let's build out a little platform just like this and cover the top with super explosive mines. To test if this works, we're just gonna use Kinger again and look at that heat exploded. I can't wait to see GE go flying from these mines. But now that the trap on the emerald side is completed, we can move on to the diamond side. And to reward him for making it through my cough mall build, I'm gonna give him a bunch of emeralds and a bunch of poisonous potatoes, his favorite things. Fill up the rest of the chest and just like that, our cough mall build is completed. No way, the timer just went off as well. Let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey GE, uh GE, wh where are you? Ooh. Ah, what the heck? Haha, <laughs> I got you so good. Are you serious right now, GE? It's not even Halloween. But anyways, now that we're done with both of our builds, who's are we checking out first? Well, since my build's obviously weird, Way better than yours, we should check out mine. Yours is definitely not better than mine, but I guess we can save the best for last. Well, let's look at the best right now. Check out my cough mode build. What the heck, GE? This is actually pretty good. But where in the world are his legs, GE? Uh, uh, cough mode doesn't have legs, remember? That is not true. Cough mode definitely has legs. I don't know about that, Bubbles, but I had the engine somewhere inside of this build, and you're gonna have to find it. And I'll give you a hint. It's your favorite color. My favorite color? Well, it's gotta be blue. And it looks like there's some dark blue over there, but my favorite color is light blue so let me just look around and look at that it's right over here good job you found it so we can open up these doors right here and walk inside let's go and gee what is this this is my ultra impossible parkour and you're gonna have to get past it ultra impossible parkour well i definitely don't want to fall in this lava you got this bubbles uh why in the world is that block moving uh because it's a part of the parkour remember 
That's a little bit too scary for me. I'm just gonna try and run across. All right, you got this. Let me just get a really far running start. Come on, come on. And no, I fell. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> there's no way you thought that actually worked. So now you're gonna have to use this block. What the heck? All right, I guess I have to do some really good timing. And come on, let's just jump right over here. And what the heck? Haha, <laughs> it's okay, Bubbles. Third time six charm. All right, G, watch this. Come on. And look at that. I made it. Good job, Bubbles. And now you can collect your prize. I'm getting my prize already. Let's go. And why am I in the void? Oh, there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. That was super funny. Are you serious, Rainia? Well, if that's not my prize, is this the fake entrance? Yup, and you're gonna have to find the real one. Let's go. What the heck? Is it in Cough Mouse's button right over here? Nope. Nope. Is it in his hat? And what? Not even close. Gee, I can't find this real entrance anywhere. Please help me out. I'll give you a hint, Bubbles, but only under one condition. And what condition is that? Everyone watching the video still like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe? Come on, guys, please. I really want to know where this real entrance is. So hit that like and subscribe button in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. All right, G, they all liked and subscribed, so now you have to tell me where it is. Wait, what the grimace? Ah, uh, fine. I guess I'll show you, Bubbles. Follow me. I guess I hit this entrance pretty well, because it's right over here. Wait, what? I would have never seen that. And now that I'm inside, what am I supposed to do? Well, now that you found the entrance, you can actually get your treasure. Huh? My actual treasure again? Well, you better not be pranking me. Let me just open this up. And wait, a stone sword. And uh, what is happening right here? Come on, Digital Circus, get him! It's literally all the characters from Digital Circus. Go down, Paul. Me. And now come over here, Kane. I'm gonna get you. Come on. And I got him. And now there's only Kinger and Zubo left. Oh no, I died. Haha. <laughs> come on, I can do this. Come on, Zubo. You're going down. Oh my gosh. How did he do that so fast? What can I say? I'm the best swordsman. Whatever you say, Bubbles. I guess you can go to the next section. Let's go. And uh, GE, what in the world is that? This is a mutant tray, and you're gonna have to fight him. Wait, what? I only have a stone sword. That sounds good enough to me. I'm gonna drop the walls in three. Wait, 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 wait. Two, no, 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 one. G, G, stop, stop, stop. I need more items than that. What the heck? Oh my gosh, you really need more items? I thought you were the best swordsman of all time. Uh, well, I am, but to beat him, I'm gonna need more than a stone sword. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever, Bubbles. I hit a bunch of chests around this room, and if you find them, then I'll let you fight this stray. A bunch of chests? Well, let me just first check these barrels real quick. And what the heck? There's literally nothing in any of them. Haha, <laughs> you're gonna have to look harder than that, Bubbles. What do you mean, G? I looked everywhere. There's no chests at all. Well, maybe you just have to look a bit harder. What do you mean, look harder, G? I've been looking. You're gonna make me mad. Don't get mad, Bubbles. Maybe there's something on the wall somewhere. On the walls? There's nothing there. I'm just gonna break your bill, G. -E. And wait a second. What, what is this? You just found the first chest. No way. Let me just grab what's inside. And it's a lapis lazuli chest plate. Good job, Bubbles. But there's still four more chests around this room. So you're gonna have to find them all. All right. Well, I'm sorry for getting mad, G. I just didn't think to break these paintings. Let me just break this one. And look at that. Another chest. Let me grab the helmet. And whoa, he looks super cool. Yep. And now to find the other ones, I'm just gonna keep breaking them. And let's go. A poison sword. That's way better than my stone sword. Yep. But there's still two more chests left. Let me just keep looking. And oh yeah, some nice boots. And for the last chest, I'm sure there's gonna be some leggings inside. And look at that G, I'm fully suited up and ready for battle. You look super dripped out right now, Bubbles. But now, I'm gonna drop the walls in three. Two, one, fight! Let's go! Bring it on, Mutant Stray! Oh no, he's doing a lot of damage! But I think I can get him if I keep hitting him! Come on, come on! You got this! Just a few more hits and I think I'm gonna get him! Let's go, I got him! Nice shot, Bubbles. I guess you really are good at fighting. But now, we can move on to the next section. Oh yeah! I'm the greatest fight- Wait, what is this, G? Is this a parkour? Yup, and if you miss a jump, these kingers are gonna start attacking you! What the- There's a whole family of kingers down there! But just like I'm a professional at sword fighting, I'm a professional- at parkour as well. So let me just make these jumps just like this. Wait, what? No, I'm the parkour pro. Stop the cap, GM. I'm literally breezing through this. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. And just to make it harder, I'm gonna spawn in some more kingers. Let's go. Well, those kingers aren't gonna matter, GE, because I'm gonna make it through right now. Come on. And, oh, uh, uh, wait a second. Kingers, stop. Ha <laughs> ha. Get him, kingers. Get him. <laughs> Are you serious, Rainy on GE? Do I have to do the whole parkour over again? Yup. Oh my gosh. Well, I better get started. Hurry up. Go, go, go. And I'm not gonna fill the jumps this time. Come on. And I made it. Good job, Bubbles. I'm gonna get rid of these kingers now. Bye-bye, kingers. But now that you made it past the parkour, you're gonna have to choose between the green hole and the blue hole. The green hole and the blue. Well, looking down the green one, I see some lava and it's a super stinky color anyway. The blue side looks 50 million times better and safer. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. Green is like the best smelling color of all time. What the? Green reminds me of vegetables and no one likes to eat vegetables. Wait, what? I love vegetables. Are you sure you don't want some lettuce? 
this, Bubbles? Uh, uh, ew, what the heck? Ew, ew, ew. Get that healthy food away from me. Come here, Bubbles. You're gonna have to eat your greens. You know what, G? Matter of fact, give them all to me. Yep, yep, give them all to me. Uh, wait, what the heck? Why do you need them? Because I'm gonna throw them in the lava. Let's go. Wait, what? No. <laughs> Those are my vegetables. <laughs> And now that your vegetables are out of my sight, I can safely jump down this blue hole. Let's go. And wait a second. Why am I dying? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> that was revenge for not eating your vegetables, Bubbles. Oh my goodness. You're just like my mom and dad. That was super funny. What's your guys' favorite vegetables? Leave it in the comments below. But hold up. Wait a minute. There's still one more hole left. The green hole. Gee, I really don't think it's a good idea to jump in lava. Are you sure? It's like a hot bubble bath. Um, I don't know what kind of bubble baths you're taking, but it's definitely not that hot. Come on, Bubbles. It's not that bad. Give it a try. You know what, G? Since I want my prize so bad, I'm just gonna do it. Come on. Please survive. Please survive. And wait. I lived. Good job, Bubbles. You made it through. And now we can move on to the next section. And, uh, G, why are there so many spikes and lasers? Because this is my laser bike maze. And if you want to get to your treasure, you're going to have to get past the entire thing. What the? This looks really difficult. Well, let me just get on this bike real quick. And we got to be super careful not to touch any of these spikes. Ow, ow, ow. You just hit one. Come on, slow and steady wins the race. Can you make it to the end? Wait, what? My bike just broke. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, how am I supposed to get through now? You got to give me another bike, G. Well, I don't know if I can do that, Bubbles. I just ran out of bikes, but... I'll give you the next best thing. Check this out. Uh, what is that? Um, G... G, G, did, did you make a mistake here or something? Nope, this is the second best vehicle in the entire world, the shopping cart. I'm not really sure what world you're living in, GE, but the shopping cart is definitely not a good vehicle. What are you talking about, Bubbles? This thing can go like 200,000 miles an hour. 200, GE, you're literally just trolling me now. Whatever, I'm just gonna use this shopping cart and get through anyway. Let's go. Come on, just gotta be really careful around these lasers and spikes. And whoa, it's about a break already. Well, GE, I'm not gonna let it break. I'm gonna go 200 million miles per hour. Let's go. And oh. Oh yeah, I made it. Nice job, Bubbles. And now that you made it to the end, you have the most important decision of your life. Are you gonna pick the diamond treasure or the emerald treasure? The diamond or the emerald? Well, since I know you want me to pick the emerald one, I'm gonna go to the diamond one. All right, so let's see. There's gonna be so many diamonds in there. And uh, uh, gee, where am I? Haha, <laughs> you just found my trap. Get him, Silverfish. Get him. Wait, what in the world? Ah! Stop it, stop it. Help me, GE. Haha. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Are you serious right now, GE? Why'd you spawn those Silverfish on me? Because you chose the wrong treasure and hold up as a matter of fact let me smell this side ew this thing totally stinks what the well as a matter of fact let me smell your side Ah, oh, that's nasty. Oh my gosh. Well, you have to go on this side, Bubbles. Come on. It smells like your side is straight from Ohio, but I guess I'll go through it for my prize. Maybe it is, Bubbles. Only in Ohio. Oh, only in Ohio. Oh. Hey, your singing's pretty good. But let me just open up this chest real quick. And holy moly. A bunch of diamonds rotten flesh. My favorite things. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wait a second. Why are you actually eating it? Get out of here. Ah, what the heck? But Bubbles, since you went through my build, can I please? Please go through yours. Yep, of course you can. Let's go. Let's go. Whee. When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. All right, so let me see. And oh my gosh, how in the world did you build this in 10 minutes? Because I'm a building professional. And look, GE, my Kofma has legs. Oh my gosh, that's so unfair. This build's literally so big. Are you serious right now? Come on, GE, 10 minutes was plenty of time to build all of this. I don't know how you could even build that fast bubble. That's literally impossible. And wait a second, how do I even get inside this thing? That's a good question. And I'll give you a hint, GE, it's your favorite color. My favorite color? So green. Okay, hold up. Let me try looking. Hmm, I'm not seeing any green around here. Just a bunch of stinky blue and wait a second. I think I see some green right over here. No way you found it. So let me just try walking through and nice. Good job, GE. Now that you're inside, you're gonna have to make it through my laser course. Your laser course? Uh, Bubbles, are you sure you finished building? This thing looks super easy. Well, you know what, GE? I don't think you're gonna get past it. Whatever you say, Bubbles, I'm gonna go through this first try. Come on. Let me just jump over this one and then 360 all the way over to the next one. And you took a little bit of damage, but it looks like you're making it through. Yep, and just to prove you wrong, I'm gonna walk through these lasers. Let's go. What the G? You're a skinny legend. Yep, I'm literally a Sigma. And wait a second, is that my prize? Well, of course, it's to reward you for getting through the course. Let's go. I'm gonna be super duper rich now. And wait a second. Oh, is that the Grimace shake? Yep, the Grimace shake is super duper tasty. This is awesome. I'm gonna drink it now. Let's go. I just got the Grimace shake. Oh, that sounds delicious. Where am I going? Ha! <laughs> 
serious right now, Bubbles? That was not the Grimace shake. That was like the Ohio shake. Haha, <laughs> GE, the Grimace shake made you levitate into the spikes. But wait a second. If there was no treasure in here, then is this a fake entrance? Yup, it is, which means that you're gonna have to go find the real one now. Oh my gosh. Uh, maybe it's inside of his hand and no. Nope. Or maybe it's inside of one of his big red buns and oh my. No, no, no. I can't find this entrance anywhere, Bubbles. Can you please give me a hint? Fine, GE. You know what? I'm not gonna give you a hint. Wait, what? Are you sure about that, Bubbles? Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh my, what the heck? I'll tell you where it is. I'll tell you where it is. Let's go. Just follow me, GE. It's right down here in Kofmo's belly. Really, dude? I could have totally found this, but whatever. I guess I'll open this up and go inside. And welcome in, GE. Are you gonna pick the lever on the left or lever on the right? Well, since the right one can't be right, then I'm gonna choose the left one. Let's go and wait a second. Is that abstracted, Kofmo? Yep, and he's about to eat you. Oh, no. I don't want to go in the void. Get out of here, Kofmo. Get out of here. Kofmo, get him. Ah! Knock him off. Oh my gosh. There's no way you just fell for that, GE. The left one was the wrong lever. Fine, I guess I'll pull the right lever. And we made it. Let's go. And wait a second. Is that a giant tiger? Yep, I picked him up straight from Ohio. Oh my gosh, he's super big and scary. He really is just like tiger. But hold on. Wait a minute. How do I even fight this thing? What do you mean? With your bare hands. What? Yep, GE, are you ready to fight? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh. <laughs> I'm just kidding, GE. I put a bunch of gear in this chest right over here. Oh. Oh, phew, so let me just open it up and... Are you serious right now? Why is there a password? Because I wouldn't make it that easy for you. You're gonna have to look around the room to figure out the password. Look around the room? Well, hmm. There is some suspicious green wool over here, so maybe I can just try mining it up. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta be careful to not hit the tiger over here. And no way, you're figuring it out. Hmm, there's an eight over here. Yep, eight's gonna be the last number of your password. I guess that makes sense. I'll have to find the first three numbers and... Hold up. Is that an Among Us imposter? What the? It literally is. Is. Hurry, get him before he vents. He looks super sus. Get out of here. I'm gonna eject you. And the paintings just came off of the wall. Maybe I can just do that to every single painting. And there we go. Looks like you figured out the number two. All right, come on. Let me just keep punching the paintings. And now you got the number four. All right, so there has to be one more number left. Let me just punch the rest of these paintings off. And look at that, GE. You figured out the password. Let's go. So let me just type in the code 2468. And whoa, there's a bunch of emerald armor and an emerald sword. You're looking super green right now. Now, you kind of look like a celery stick. Really, dude? What are you even talking about? Poisonous potatoes are so much better than celery. I mean, I didn't say any of that. I'm just saying what you look like, GE. Oh my gosh. Well, whatever you say, Bubbles, just drop the walls already. I will in three, two, one, fight. Come over here, Ohio Tiger. Come on. Come on, Tiger. Get him, get him. Oh no, he's moving super fast. I didn't know these big creatures could move like that. Yep, he runs at 50 miles per hour. Well, it's still not faster than the shopping cart. Come on, just a few more hits and no. Oh, I died. <laughs> Second time's the charm, GE. Get him. All right, come on. And let's go. I got him. No way. You actually defeated him? Yup, and look, he dropped all this leather. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Well, now that you defeated the Ohio Tiger, you can move on to the next room. Wait a second. Pick a roller coaster, the left one or the right one. Hmm. Well, I learned my lesson this time, Bubble. Since he made the right one the right one last time, then the left one has to be right this time. Come on. We'll give you a little push, and off you go. Wait a second. What the heck is this? Why is there a bunch of dinosaurs? Haha, <laughs> you just fell from my Trap! Ah! Gee, I can't believe you just picked the wrong roller coaster. Are you serious, Radio Bubbles? That was so unfair. I mean, hey, GE, you're the one that picked it. But now you only have one option left. All right, whatever, Bubbles. I guess I'll go in this roller coaster. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see where it takes me. And look at that, GE. You made it through. Let's go. And hold up. Is that Zubo over there? Yep, that is Zubo. And you're gonna have to try crossing this tightrope without her knocking you off. Without her knocking me off? Well, Bubbles, that's literally a piece of cake. I bet I could do that first try. Uh, well, if you're so confident, then let's see you do it. All all right, let's go. This is gonna be easy peasy. Ha ha. You already missed. Ha 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 ha. Na 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 na. Bah! Oh my gosh. Ha <laughs> ha, you just died. That's so not fair, Bubble. She was definitely like cheating or something. Definitely not. I think you're just a noob. I am not a noob, Bubbles, but hold up. This thing seems literally impossible. Is there an item in here or something? Yep, just look around the room and you'll find something that can help you cross. Look around the room. Well, hold up. Maybe there's something on that ground. You just got shot off again. These dirt blocks look kind of suspicious. Maybe if I just try clicking on it. Come on, come on, come on. And oh, I guess there was nothing there. Yep, gee, there's totally nothing there. I don't even like these pink flowers. Get out of here. And look at that, GE. There's totally nothing there either. Bubbles, why do you sound like that? You sound super sarcastic right now. Uh, well, maybe because you might have already found those items, GE. Found the items? Well, how in the world am I going to use pink flowers? What the... 
GE, not those items, the other ones. Oh, the dirt blocks. Maybe I can use this to cover up the Zoobles. There you go. That's the 400 IQ play. All right, so let me just put a dirt block right over here and then sneak across and put another one over there there and now i just gotta carefully make it across come on and i did it let's go you made it through yep and now i'm gonna open up this door let's go and hold up why is there so much buttons in here because you made it to my find that button room you're gonna have to figure out which one of these buttons is right find out which button is right well hmm, there's so many in here i guess i just have to start pressing all of them good luck come on almost there and oh there's a big red button over here and i totally want to press it it does look super cool doesn't it you should press it i'm gonna do it let's go and Really, dude. Haha. <laughs> Are you serious, Renew? How was that not the right answer? It was so big and shiny. Well, that's exactly why I would make it a trap. But wait, GE, isn't green your favorite color? There's a green button over here. There's a green button? Well, say less. I'm totally gonna press it. And oh my gosh. Why is there a mutant zombie? Oh no. Get him. Ah! There's no way I just baited you into pressing that button. That was so unfair, Bubbles. And now I guess I have to just keep pressing all of these buttons. This is gonna take forever. You better hope that this is not another trap. Come on, I just gotta take it super slow and... Wait a second, why is there a blue button over here? Uh, what do you mean? It's just another button. Another button? Bubbles, I fell for your traps way too many times. I'm gonna press the blue button, whatever it takes. Well, let's see what happens. Come on. And whoa, where are we right now? You just made it to the last and final obstacle. Are you gonna pick the diamond treasure or the emerald treasure? The diamond or the emerald treasure? Well, that's the most easiest choice of my life. I'm gonna choose the emerald treasure. Let's go! <laughs> There's no way you just fell through those ghost blocks. What the heck was that, Bubbles? Did I just die? Yep, you got exploded on some super explosive landmines. That's so unfair, Bubbles. Does that mean I have to go in the blue treasure? Well, yeah, that should have been your first choice because diamond is so beautiful and amazing. In your dreams, Bubbles, but I guess I'll open up this treasure. Come on, let's see what's inside. And whoa, there's a bunch of emeralds and poisonous potatoes. They're all for you. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ew, there's no way you're actually eating that. Haha. <laughs> so, GE, whose cough mode do you think was better? Well, Bubbles. After going through both of her builds, obviously mine was way better. What the heck? Mine was definitely better than yours. That's so cap bubbles, but I'm gonna flick this lever and see what character we get next. Come on. And who do we get? We got Ragatha. Let's go. I'm the best Ragatha builder in the world. Um, really, dude? Obviously, I'm the best builder, and we only have 10 minutes to build this, so let's use the best. Go, go, go. Now that GE can't hear me anymore, it's time to cheat. So let me just go and chat and type slash slash paste, and holy moly, a Ragatha build just spawned in. We're so ahead of G right now, but there's no time to waste because we gotta put in some traps and for my first trap i'm gonna be making a fake entrance where should i put it hmm wait i know let's put it right inside of ragatha's mouth over here let's make the entrance ghost blocks disguised as emerald blocks since emerald blocks are ge's favorite it's definitely gonna lure him inside for the fake entrance i'm gonna be making ge climb some super dangerous ladders let's first put down a bunch of spikes on the floor just like this and then we'll make the two different ladders that he can choose between to climb and i think it would be hilarious if we turn some ladders on the left to some ghost blocks this way when ge goes to climb these ladders He's not gonna be able to latch on and he's gonna die to the spikes. Oh, wow! For the ladder on the right, I'm gonna make it lead to a separate room all the way up here. In this room, we're gonna place down a chest right over here so that GE thinks it's gonna be his prize. But when he goes to open it, it's gonna spawn in this massive King Kong. Let's make sure he'll be able to kill GE and oh my goodness, he does so much damage. That was super duper terrifying. But now that this room is set up, our fake entrance is completed. Make sure to stick around to see GE's reaction when he falls for these pranks. But before moving on to building the real entrance, I wanna go check on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly placed a security camera on the other side of the competition. So let me just go on my camera monitor. And no way, we can see GE building. All right, just a few more blocks. And there we go. My racket looks so good. What do you think of it, Mr. Panda? What? Why is GE talking to a panda? You like it? Me too. But little does Bubbles know, I'm going to fill up my entire racket though with a bunch of traps with this super secret treasure at the end. And we only have eight minutes left to build this. So this is going to be perfect. TNT. And wait, we only have eight minutes left. I got to get back to my build. Go, go, go. All right, now that we have the fake entrance complete, it's time to put in the real one. And I think the perfect spot to hide it would be right under Ragatha's collar over here. So let's just place down some secret doors just like this. And look at that, you can't even tell anything's there. But now let's go inside and start building our first official trap. From our first trap, G is gonna have to fight these skeleton soldiers with nothing but a grenade launcher. These skeleton soldiers are super dangerous. They shoot super duper fast and can launch over a hundred arrows in a minute. The only way that G can get through this level is by grabbing this grenade launcher from this chest and then using it to absolutely obliterate them. 
problem. But GE's aim is pretty bad, so I have no idea if he's gonna be able to do it. But just like that, and our skeleton soldier fight room is completed. I can't wait to see GE try to use a grenade launcher, but for now, let's move on to building our next trap. For my next trap, GE's gonna have to fight a super deadly mob boss. Let me place down some super secure iron bars to make sure it doesn't escape. There we go. And now to help me spawn in the mob boss, you have to hit that like and subscribe button in three, two, one thank you for subscribing and oh my goodness it's a massive mutant zombie these guys are super powerful and can even come back to life he's definitely way stronger than ge so we're gonna have to give him some gear to fight with it's all gonna be in this password protected chest let's just make the password 4321 and we're just gonna fill it with this pink armor and a poison sword ge absolutely hates the color pink so it's gonna be so funny when he has to put this on but now that all his gear is inside we're gonna have to give ge a way to figure out the password to do that ge is gonna have to step on three different pressure plates and obviously because blue is the correct answer these two are gonna be traps if g chooses to step on this red pressure plate it's just gonna instantly pop him and then if g decides to step on his favorite color he's gonna be teleported into the cage with the mutant zombie ah help me ah! it's gonna be so funny when g falls for this one last but not least if g steps on the correct pressure plate it's gonna activate a network of redstone that's gonna give him a secret code let's just test if this works and look at that we just got it oh yeah our mutant zombie fight room is completed for the third trap in my ragatha build i'm gonna be making g pick between between two levers a green lever or a blue lever i have a pretty good feeling g is gonna pick the green one so it's gonna activate a trap if he pulls it it's gonna break the block under him and cause him to fall one fun fact about ge is that he absolutely hates spiders so i think it would be really funny if he fell into a pit of cave spiders they're all super duper poisonous let's cover this up real quick and reset the lever and now since blue is the best color in the world when he pulls this lever it's gonna activate a secret iron door that he can use to get to the next level but just like that our pick the lever room is completed and actually before moving on to building the next trap i want to go troll ge and i have just the perfect prank so let me just fly up to the wall over here and grab this jack spawn egg and an invisibility potion from the chest now let me just break out a few blocks in the wall and look at that we can see ge building my ragged is turning out so good i'm totally gonna beat bubbles in this build challenge all right before he finishes his build let's splash this invisibility potion on ourselves and boom now we can fly straight up to him and start pranking him all right just a few more blocks and nice my ragged is turning out super good okay quick let's just spawn in a whole bunch of jacks and wait a second, what's that noise and- ah! What the heck is that? Is that a bunch of jaxes? Look at them. They're getting him. Why are they running after me? Oh my gosh. Get away. Get away. Go Jax. Go Jax. Get GE. Oh my goodness. And I just died. Haha. <laughs> I can't believe he just fell for that. And now quick while GE is busy respawning. Let's just go in our inventory and grab a bazooka and then blow up his build. Run away. Run away. And wait a second. What the heck was that noise? And oh my gosh. Are you serious right now? Why is there an explosion over here? Oh my goodness, guys. He has no idea it was me. Did you do this Jax, get over here. Gee, has gone insane. He's shooting at the Jaxes. Oh no, this is super duper bad and we only have five minutes left to finish this build. I gotta hurry up. Wait a second. Did he say five minutes? We gotta get back to my build then. Let me cover up this wall over here and go. All right, we gotta build this fast. For the next obstacle, G is gonna have to fight and defeat Kinger from Digital Circus. Let's first give him a weapon to fight with in this chest right over here. And all we're gonna give him is this measly wooden sword. And now we're gonna have to figure out a way to get these Kingers to spawn in. Hmm, I know. I'm gonna start off by putting a pressure plate right over here with a sign on top that says step on to get to the next room and then underneath right here we're just gonna put a whole line of dispensers just like this set up this redstone circuit real quick and now we can fill up these dispensers with a whole bunch of kingers spawn eggs now let's just cover this up and test if it works and look at that there's so many kingers and holy they do so much damage what the heck that was super duper close but i'm sure ge won't be able to defeat them with just this wooden sword but now that the trap is set up the only way to move on to the next room is through the secret door right over here it's disguised as netherite right block so that it's super duper hard to find wait a second we only have two minutes left i'm gonna quickly make my build for the next obstacle g is gonna have to get past an impossible shark parkour finish up the room and now we can start placing down the water for the sharks to swim in and now it's time to spawn in these super deadly and super hungry great white sharks oh my god look at all these sharks ready to eat ge without further ado let's get started on these parkour jumps we'll have some regular jumps like this and then some spring jumps bouncing over here let's also add in some super difficult ladder jumps on the side of the wall let's make it even harder by making GE do a head hitter right over here with a neo jump right after for the last and final jump of the parkour there's gonna be a twist the only way that GE can make it to the last and final room is by going through this tube right over here this massive jump might seem completely impossible but if GE is smart enough he can find this chest right over here it's gonna be behind this painting doesn't that look so sussy and inside the chest there's gonna be a portal gun that he can use with the portal gun from the chest you can just teleport right over here and move on to the last and final level but just like that our shark parkour is completed and I have no idea if GE is gonna be able 
able to get past it. Since this is the last obstacle, GE's gonna have to pick if he wants the diamond treasure or the emerald treasure. Let's build out the room real quick, and then we'll place out a chest at the end of each hallway. And because blue is the best color in the entire world, it's gonna be the correct one. Which leaves this stinky emerald side to be the wrong one. Let's set up a trap over here with a fake chest just like this. And now when GE goes to open up this chest, it's just gonna eat him alive. Oh my goodness, look at that! Ah! It's gonna be hilarious when he falls for this trap. But now that we're done with the emerald side, we could fill up this diamond side with a whole bunch of his favorite things like emeralds and poisonous potatoes. Fill up the rest of the chest real quick and just like that our Ragatha build is completed. Oh wait, looks like the timer went off as well. Now let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey GE. Hey Bubbles. Now that we're done with our builds, who's are we checking out first? Well, since my builds were elegant and delicate and amazing, you should check out mine. You know what GE, that sounds good to me. We can save the best for last. Save the best for last? Wait a second, why don't we just check out the best right now? Check out my Ragatha build. Wait a second GE, this is actually pretty good. But why in the world is her eye green? Uh, cause Ragatha loves green, the best color in the world, remember? That is definitely not true, it's supposed to be blue. But whatever G, how do I even get in this build? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles, it's your favorite color. My favorite color? Well, it would be the color of her eye, but you decided to make it green. So where in the world is the blue on this Ragtha build? Let me just look around and wait, I see some blue right over here. Good job, Bubbles, you found it. But now that you're inside, you're gonna have to choose between the left door and the right door. The left and the right? Well, the right would be the obvious answer, so I'm gonna go with the left. Now let me just walk inside and wait, GE is his press for prize. Are you gonna press it? Obviously, it's gonna be some amazing diamonds. And uh, uh, wait a second, G, what's happening? You just fell in the lava spikes. Ha <laughs> ha. Are you serious, Rainio GE? I said press for prize, not for lava spikes. Yeah, because that is your prize. What the heck? Well, I wanna see what the prize is in here. All right, so let's see. Come on, this time it better be some diamonds and what the heck? There's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. That was so funny. No, it wasn't, but wait a second, GE. If I died in both of these rooms, does it mean that this is the fake entrance? Yup, and you're gonna have to find the real one. Oh my gosh. Is it in Ragatha's green eye over here? And nope. Nope. Is it in her blue dress over here? Doesn't look like it. Not even close. GE, where in the world is this real entrance? Tell me, please. Hmm, I guess I'll tell you where the entrance is, but only under one condition. Yes, and what condition is that? Everyone watching the video still like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe. Quick, guys, I really want to know where this real entrance is. So hit that like and subscribe button in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. All right, G, now that they like and subscribe, where is the real entrance? Wait, what? How'd they do it so fast? Because they're super duper amazing. Yeah, I guess you're right, Bubbles. And just because of that, I'm going to show you where it is. Yeah. I don't know how you didn't find it, Bubbles, because it's literally right over here. What the heck, G? How was I supposed to see that? It's behind her hair. But now let me just open up this door and go inside. And what the heck is this, GE? This is the prize room, Bubbles, and you can open up this chest to get your prize. My prize? Wait, GE, you better not be messing with me again. I swear if you mess with me, GE. And wait, a wooden sword? And uh, why am I taking damage? Are those two Pomneys? Get him, Pomney, get him! Let me just use my wooden sword. Come on, come on, I can win, I can win. And there we go, I already took one out. And there's the second one, let's go! You might have got those Pomneys, Bubbles, but look behind you, there's literally two Zoobles over there. Uh, wait, wait, what in the world? Wait a second, GE, they're literally fighting each other, what? Wait, Zoobles, what are you doing? Go get them! Haha, <laughs> GE, I think you messed your trap up. Now I can just take them out easily while they're fighting. Oh my gosh, are you serious right now? And oh no, she's shooting at me now, she's shooting at me now. All right, Zoobles, that was your chance and... Oh my gosh. Uh... <laughs> I'm just too much of a professional. Whatever, Bubbles. I guess you defeated them. And now we can move on to the next section. Let's go. Hey, wait a second, G. Are those charge creepers? Yup. And if you don't get past this parkour, they're gonna explode you. What the heck? This looks like it's a parkour street from Ohio. But because I'm such a pro, I'm just gonna make these jumps super easily. And look at that, G. I'm already halfway through. You got this, Bubbles. Hit the gritty. All right, let me just gritty to this next block over here. And oh no, I slipped off. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, G. Do I have to start from the beginning? Yep, try to. Ain't no way you just dabbed on me, GE, but I guess I'm just gonna make it through this parkour. Come on, come on. And just a few more jumps, I got this. Are you gonna make it? Oh no, this one looks really difficult. I'm gonna have to bounce myself over there. Come on, Bubbles, you got this. Get away from me, charge creepers. Come on. And I did it. Nice shot, Bubbles. And now you can take this minecart to go to the next section. Whee! And, uh, uh, GE, what, what is that? There's two mutant skeletons behind this cage, and you're gonna have to fight them. What the heck, GE? I only have a wooden sword. It's all right, Bubbles, you got this. I'm gonna drop the walls in three, wait, two, wait, 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 one. Wait, 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 GE, what the heck are you doing? I need more items than this. Oh my gosh, really, dude? Brother, you almost got me killed. Fine, I guess if you want more items, you can open up this chest. Wait, I didn't even see that there. Let me just open it up. And are you serious right now, GE? It's password protected. Haha. <laughs> wait, but how do I even figure out the password? 
weird. Well, there are these levers over here, so maybe you can try pressing them and see what happens. I assume that one of these are going to be a trap, so I have a 50% chance of getting it right. I'm just going to press this one right over here. And no, 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 are you serious right now? Get him, skeletons, get him. Ah! What the heck, GE? I can't believe I just got teleported in there. Yeah, and it was super duper funny, but there is one more lever here, so maybe you can try pressing it. Well, this one's got to be right, so let me just pull it. And wait a second, something just fell down. What does it say? Six, seven, eight, nine. That's got to be the code for the chest. All right, so let's try opening it up. Six, seven, eight, nine. And oh my goodness, a full set of lapis lazuli armor and a platinum sword. Look at me, GE. I'm looking bluer than ever. You look super cool bubbles but now that you're all suited up i'm gonna actually drop the walls in three two one let's go here we go come on look at that g i'm already destroying this guy come on skeletons beat him up come on just a few more hits and look at that already got one of them no i died <laughs> come on it's a 1v1 situation i literally got this g you got this bubbles let me just keep hitting him with this super cool platinum sword and boom i won whoa he just exploded into pieces yeah look at all these bones everywhere but now that you killed the skeleton you can open up this code to get to the next section. All right, let me just put in the code 6789 and look at that. We're through. Let's go. Hey, wait a second, GE. What in the world is this? You're going to have to choose between the green hole, the pink hole, and the blue hole. The green, the pink, and the blue. Well, let me just take a little peek and see what's inside each of them. And in the nasty green hole, there's some lava. Well, I'm definitely not jumping in that. And in the pink one, there's some water. And in the blue one, there's some cobwebs. So which one are you jumping down? Well, it looks like there's only two safe options, the pink one and the blue one. And since blue is my favorite color i'm gonna jump down the blue one all right so let's see what happens what do you mean i'm just gonna get caught by the cobwebs and wait a second what the heck haha <laughs> gee how did i fall through those cobwebs uh isn't it obvious you chose the wrong hole oh my yeah i guess i have to go down the pink one then all right so let's see what's inside well it looks like it's water so i'm just gonna land safely and oh uh, oh why am i taking damage ah Oh my gosh, there's no way you just fell for that two times in a row. What the heck? There's no way that green's the right one. There's literally lava down here. Well, green is the best color of all time, so maybe you can make it through. You know what, G? Green is actually not the best color, and the only reason why I'm gonna jump down here is because the other ones didn't work. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Green is obviously the best color of all time. And watch this, G. I'm literally gonna die when I go down. Wait a second. I survived? Yup, because I put fake lava. That's pretty cool, G. But, uh, what is this room? I put a bunch of boots in these chests and you're gonna have to choose between the left tunnel and the right tunnel the left and the right well on the right one there's a whole bunch of scary decorations so i think i'm gonna go on the left one so let me just open up this chest and grab a boat wait a second ge why are they all green uh because green is the best duh i am not gonna be sitting in a green boat ge give me a blue one right now all right fine bubbles i guess i'll give you a blue boat over here haha <laughs> yeah uh what the heck how dare you do that, GE? Now you have to give me one for real. Fine, Bubbles. I guess I'll give you one. Here you go. Yay! And are you serious right now? It's another green one. Ew! Haha, <laughs> you have to choose the green boat. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Uh, okay, fine, GE. I guess I'll use the green one. Now let me just place the boat down and sit in it and off we go. Let's go! All right, let me just see where this takes me. Come on and wait a second. A bunch of sharks. Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> what the heck, man? That was super scary. Yeah, it was. And because you chose the wrong tunnel, you're gonna have to go through the super scary spooky tunnel. Well, I see what you did here, GE. You put all these scary decorations to make me choose the other one. Yeah, you're right. But are you gonna go down here? Well, I guess I have to because it's the only option left. All right, let's go, Bubbles. You got this. Come on, let's see where this takes me. Please be something safe. And wait, look at that. I made it to the last and final room. Yup, and this is gonna be the most important decision of your life. Are you gonna choose the diamond treasure or the emerald treasure? treasure the most important well it's also the easiest because diamonds are literally so beautiful and amazing all right whatever you say bubbles let's go inside oh yeah and ge did you bless me with a bunch of diamonds in this chest i don't know bubbles let's just see oh my god i'm so excited come on and uh what is happening ah! uh ge where am i you're stuck inside of my trap and unless you find a way out of here you're never gonna get out what in the world how am i supposed to find anything i guess i'll start by looking through these chests right over here and ge there's literally nothing inside them. Well, maybe you gotta look harder, Bubbles. What about these cabinets right over here? Gee, I'm literally opening all of them and there's nothing. Come on, you gotta think outside of the box. Oh, I really want my prize. Come on, let me look around and... Wait a second. I think I just opened the crafting table and it's a secret chest. Oh yeah, I just got a portal gun. Let's go! Now let me just point the portal gun all the way up there and let's see if I make it. Look at that, Gee, I'm literally back up. Good job, Bubbles. And now that you went through the diamond treasure, you're gonna have to choose the emerald treasure. Ooh, that was a really difficult trap to get out of but i guess i can collect my prize now yes sir i'm not 
that big of a fan of emerald, but let's see what's inside. And wait a second, a whole bunch of rotten flesh diamonds and diamond blocks? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wait a second, why are you actually eating it? Get out of here. Ah! But Bubbles, now that you went through my build, can I please go through yours? Yeah, of course. I was just about to ask you that. All right, then. Let's go. Ah! When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. All right, let me see. And oh my goodness. How in the world is it so big? What do you mean? This is a pretty regular build for me. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. There's no way you built this in only 10 minutes. Gee, you already know that I'm a Minecraft professional. So this was an easy task for me. Oh my gosh. Well, this build is massive. So how in the world do I even get inside this thing? I'll give you a hint, GE. It's your favorite color. My favorite color is so green. But wait a second. I don't see any green around this build. You just gotta look a little bit closer. Hmm, let's see, and oh, I see some green right inside of her mouth. So let me just walk through, and nice. Good job, GE. Now that you're inside, you have to pick between this left ladder and this right ladder. The left ladder, the right ladder. Well, hmm, the left is left, and the right is right. So I'm gonna go in the right ladder. Let's go. And whoa, is this my treasure? Yep, look how beautiful and green it is. There might be a few stacks of emeralds waiting for you. A few stacks of uh, uh, emeralds? Oh my gosh, I need to open it up. Come on, come on, come on. And wait a second. Oh no, is it going? Godzilla? Haha, <laughs> Godzilla? You mean King Kong? It's like the same thing. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. I can't believe you just fell from my trap. Yeah, but there is one more ladder left, so let me just try climbing up here. And wait a second, what the heck? This ladder literally isn't working. Gee, you just gotta grab onto it. Alright, come on, come on, come on. And Oh my gosh. Haha, uh... <laughs> there's no way you just died two times in a row. Wait a second, if both of these ladders killed me, is this the fake entrance? Yep, that's right, which means you gotta go find the real one. Oh my god. Maybe it's inside of her eye and no. Nope. Or maybe it's inside of her big, beautiful dress and oh my gosh. Uh, Not even close. I can't find this entrance anywhere. Can you please give me a hint? You know what? Fine, GE. It's right inside of... Just kidding. I'm not telling you anything. Well, are you sure about that, Bubbles? I'll give you this whole stack of rotten flesh. Oh, uh, rotten flesh? Uh, uh, uh GE, uh... F fine, I'll tell you where it is. I'll tell you where it is. Let's go. But well, you gotta give me the rotten flesh first. All right, fine, Bubbles. Here you go. Yummy, yummy. I don't know how you could have found it, but it's right under Ragatha's collar. Wait a second. It's right over here? How in the world am I supposed to see that? Well, I guess you're right. I'm the best hider in the world. But now that you're inside, you're gonna have to get past this obstacle. Get past this obstacle? But how? This is a target practice room where you're gonna have to kill these skeleton soldiers before they kill you. These skeleton soldiers? They look super scary. Well, the battle's about to start, G, so you better grab what's inside this chest. All right, so we got a grenade launcher and some grenades. Oh no, I don't think I'm ready for this. Good luck, GE. And you already died. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's all right, Bubbles. I think I got this and I just got one. What the heck? There's only one left. Can you get him? And I did it. There's no way you defeated all of them, but I guess you can move on to the next room now. All right, so let me just open up these doors and wait a second. Is that a mutant zombie? Yep, he's super muscular, just like a Sigma. And you're gonna have to fight him. Oh no, how am I supposed to fight him? I don't want him to fight Phantom tax me. Well, I already knew that you wouldn't be strong enough, so inside this chest, I put a bunch of items you can use. Let's go, so let me just open it up and... Really, dude? Why is there a password? Haha, <laughs> I wouldn't make it that easy for you. You gotta figure out the password by stepping on one of these pressure plates. Well, there is a green pressure plate over here, so I'm gonna step on it. Let's go and... Wait a second. Why am I in the cage now? Oh, no. Haha, <laughs> you just got teleported inside. There's no way you just fell for that. I obviously wouldn't make the green one the right one. That was super scary, but wait. There is a big red pressure plate over here. I think I'm gonna step on it. Let's go and... Really, dude? No way! Gee, I have no idea how you just stepped on both of the traps. And now the only pressure plate left is this blue one right over here. Do I really have to step on it, Bubbles? Yep, I mean, you wouldn't have a problem with that, right? It's the most beautiful color in the world. Well, hmm, let me just smell it real quick and... Oh my gosh, it's so stinky! Ah! What the heck? Bubbles, I don't want to step on it. Can you step on it? No, G, it has to be you. Come on, it's not that bad. Blue is the best color in the world. All right, fine. I guess I'll step on it. Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, that's cheating. And nice. I just got the code. 4321. Just put it in real quick. And whoa, I have this pink armor and this poison sword. Yep, you're looking super cool. Now I'm totally ready to fight that zombie. Mean zombie, bring it on. Whatever you say, G, the walls are dropping in three, two, one, fight. 
Come on, come on, come on. And look at that. He's destroying you, GE. I don't know about that, Bubbles. I think I'm poisoning him. And wait, did you get him? Yeah, I think I did, Bubbles. Get out of here, zombie. And wait a second. Oh, no. Why is he getting back up? Haha, <laughs> he literally just got back up and destroyed you. It's all right, Bubbles. Try to. Let me just keep hitting him real quick. And I got him. Are you sure, GE? Did you really get him this time? Well, he is getting back up. But I have some grenades from earlier. Let me just explode him. And really did. Haha. <laughs> I think I'm gonna finally get him this time. Just a few more hits. Come on, come on, come on. And I got him. Whoa, that mutant zombie was super tough, but I guess you defeated him. Yeah, I did. And he even dropped this cool hammer. Oh, wow, that is pretty cool. But now that you defeated him, you can go through this trap door to the next room. Let's go. And welcome to my lever room where you're gonna have to pick if you wanna pull the green lever or the blue lever. The green lever, the blue lever. Well, hmm, this is super duper obvious. I'm gonna choose the green lever. Let's go. And wait a second. Oh, no. Why is there a bunch of spiders? Haha, <laughs> you just fell into my spider. Spider pit. Ow, ow, ow! There's no way you just fell for that. Green is obviously the wrong one. Does that mean I have to pull the blue lever? Yep. Oh, no. This is super scary. I don't want to press it. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I guess I'll press it. Let's go! You finally pressed it, but now you made it to my next trap. Look inside this chest and see what you get. All right, and whoa, I got a wooden sword. Yep, and that's a trap, GE. You can move on to the next room now. Let's go. That was super duper easy. And wait a second. Oh, my gosh. Is that a bunch of kingers? Yep. Oh, my goodness. There's so many of them. Get Get away from me. Ow, ow, ow. They're completely destroying you, GE. Ha <laughs> ha. There's so many of them, but wait a second. I still have my poison sword from earlier. Let me just try hitting them real quick. And nice. No way. You're taking them out. Oh, whoa. That was pretty scary, but it looks like you made it through. Yup. I'm on half a heart right now, but wait. They just dropped some rotten flesh. Ooh, that looks really good, GE. You should eat it. Or, I mean, you could give it to me. Ew. I'm not gonna eat it. Here you go. You can have it. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. But wait, Bubbles. I think I'm stuck in this room. How do we get out? Well, GE. You're just gonna have to look very closely. Very closely? Hmm. Maybe if I just try opening every single book. Come on, come on, come on. And I did it. You actually made it through. But wait, what is this? Welcome to my world's most dangerous shark parkour. You're gonna have to make these jumps without falling into the water and get eaten by these sharks. A shark parkour? That sounds super scary. But lucky for me, I'm a parkour pro. So I'm gonna do this first try. Let's see if you can do it. Come on. And no way you're breezing through it. Just a few ladder jumps. Can you make this head hitter? I think think so. Let me just make it through and nice. Good job, GE. Now you made it to the Neo. Wow, Bubbles. This parkour is easy peasy. Now I'm gonna make it to the end. Let's go and... Oh, no. You just got eaten by a shark. Oh, my God. Does that mean I have to go through this all over again? Yep, I told you you had to be super careful, GE. Whatever, Bubbles. I got this. And look at that. You're already making it through. Come on. Just a few more jumps. And I did it. Looks like you got through the easy part of the parkour, but how are you going to make this next jump over here? Hmm, that is a good question. But the more important thing is, why is there Among Us on this wall? You're right, GE. That is pretty sussy. What if he's the imposter? Yeah, he might be the imposter. I gotta get him out of here. And wait, there's a chest over here. Yep, check what's inside. And whoa, there's a portal gun. I think I can use that to get to the other side. All right, let's see if you can do it, GE. Hiya! Come on, and I did it. Let's go. Now that you made it through my shark parkour, you're on to the last and final trap. Are you gonna pick the diamond treasure or the emerald treasure? Well, that's super easy, Bubbles. Obviously, I'm gonna go in the emerald treasure. Let's go. Sounds good to me. You could collect your prize now. I can almost smell the emeralds from here. Let me just open this up real quick. And wait a second. Why is this chest attacking me? Oh, no. Go get him, get him. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! I can't believe you just opened up a killer chest. That was super scary, Bubbles, but I guess I have to go through the diamond treasure now. Yep, I mean, it's the best in the world. All right, so let me just open it up real quick and whoa. There's a bunch of emeralds, emerald blocks, and poisonous potatoes. All of your favorite things for you. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Gee, what in the world are you doing? Bubbles, you have to help me. This skibbity toilet is breaking inside of my house. Oh, no, don't worry, G. I'm gonna help you out. Wait, but how? Just like this. Ah! But Bubbles, what in the world are we doing today? We're gonna be doing an upgraded Titan TV Man build challenge. Upgraded TV Man? That's so cool. But wait a second. What side are you gonna go on? The blue side or the green side? Uh, blue or green, blue or green, blue or green. I'm gonna go on the green side. The green side? That's my side. Oh, what in the world? Whatever, GE. Blue is way better anyway. I don't know about that, Bubbles. Green is way better. And we only have 10 minutes to build this. So let's get started. All right, go, go, go. Now that GE can't hear me anymore, it's time to cheat. So let me just go and chat and type slash slash pick. And holy moly, our upgraded Titan TV man just spawned in. We're so ahead of GE right now, but there's no time to waste because we got to put in some traps. And for my first trap, I'm going to be making a fake entrance. Where should I put it? Hmm. Let's put it right on the side of TV man's head over here. For the entrance, we're going to place down two secret doors disguised as 
emerald blocks. It'll be the perfect disguise to lure GE over here. Now that the entrance is completed, let's go inside and start building our trap. For this fake entrance, I'm gonna be making a fake parkour that has a deadly twist at the end. First, let's place some lava down in this pit, and then we'll literally place down one super easy parkour jump. Let's just see if this works, and yep, that was super duper easy. The reason why I made this super duper easy is because I want GE to fall for this trap at the end of the parkour. Once GE opens up this trap chest, it's gonna break the blocks right under him and he's gonna fall down. At this point, GE would probably be screaming already, but I think it would be hilarious if he fell right into another trap. So let's just build a section down just like this, and let's just put down two dispensers at the end over here, and two pressure plates right where he's gonna fall. We'll quickly do a little bit of redstone work, and then we'll fill up these dispensers with a whole bunch of lava buckets. And finally, when GE lands on these pressure plates, a bunch of lava is gonna come out and he's gonna have nowhere to run. Ah, hot, hot, hot! But just like that, our fake entrance is completed. And before moving on to building the real one, I wanna go check on GE to see how he's doing. I secretly placed one way glass on the other side of the competition, so let me just break out a few blocks just like this, and look at that, we can see GE building his TV man. Alright, just a few more blocks, and there we go, my TV man looks so good. What do you think of it, Mr. Spider Pig? What the? Why is GE talking to a spider pig? Wait, why are you running away from it? Get over here! What the heck? GE's gone crazy! But little does Bubbles know, I'm gonna fill my entire TV man with a bunch of traps with this super secret treasure at the end. And we only have 8 minutes left, so this is gonna be perfect. Traps? And wait a second, we only have 8 minutes left? I gotta quickly back to my build done! Go, go, go! Alright, since we already have the fake entrance, it's time to put in the real one. And I have just a perfect spot for it. We're gonna put it right inside of TV man's core. I think this is such a cool spot, because this is the core that he used to destroy Skibbity Scientist. Let's put down some ghost blocks here as the entrance to make sure that it's super duper hidden. You can't even tell that anything's there. Now that the entrance is complete, let's go inside and start building our first official trap. For the first obstacle that GE's gonna have to get past, I'm gonna be making him play guess the button. As soon as GE walks into the room, he's gonna see three buttons right in front of him. A blue one, a green one, and a red one. If GE decides to press his red button over here, it's gonna send him straight to Ohio. And what the heck, why is there a dinosaur in Ohio? Only in Ohio. Oh, ah. It's gonna be hilarious when GE falls for this trap. Now, since green is such a nasty, smelly color, if GE decides to press the green button, it's just gonna automatically destroy him. Green is GE's favorite color, so you know I had to make it into a trap. And last but not least, the beautiful, mesmerizing, amazing, wonderful blue button. Whoa. Uh, 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 sorry. Um, if GE presses this button, it's gonna be the correct one and lead to the next room through this secret iron door. So let's just test if this works, and looks like it does. For my next trap, I'm gonna be making GE fight a speaker man and a cameraman. Let's first build out the room real quick, and then let's build out some iron bars to make sure that the speaker man and cameraman don't escape. There we go. Oh, perfect. And now to help me spawn in speaker man and cameraman, hit that like and subscribe button in 3, 2, one. Thank you for subscribing and oh my goodness look at that. We got speaker man over here looking extra powerful and cameraman as well. I have no idea how GE is going to be able to defeat them because they're really strong. I think to make this fight a little bit more fair we're going to give GE some items he can use. But it's all going to be held inside this password protected chest. Let's just set the code to 1111 and let's just fill it up with a full set of ender dragon armor and a bone dragon sword. That should definitely be enough for him to fight these guys. Now for the important part we got to give GE a way to figure out the password and I have just the idea for that. Let's go ahead and break a few holes into the wall just like this, and then we'll place a sign in each with the number of the password right on it. Last one over here. To make it harder to spot, we're just gonna put a whole bunch of paintings to cover it. There we go. Just like that, our speaker man and cameraman fight room is completed. Make sure to stick around to see GE fight these guys, but for now we can move on to building our third trap. For the third trap in my Titan TV man build, I'm gonna be making the world's most dangerous dropper. Let's first build out a room that goes all the way down here, finish up the floor, and then we'll split it into four or even sections. There we go, that looks good. For the first corner over here, we're just gonna put in a whole bunch of fake water. This fake water is actually poisonous, so if GE decides to jump inside it, he's gonna get hurt. Ah! Then in these two corners over here, we're just gonna put in some real lava. The reason why I'm filling up both of these corners with lava is so that GE thinks that one of them is fake and it's safe to land in. But in reality, both of the lava here are super duper hot and will burn him. Ah! For the last corner over here, it's gonna have to be the safe one to land in, so we're just gonna make some bouncy bedrock. And to to make the bouncy bedrock, we're gonna have to put a layer of slime just like this, and then a layer of ghost blocks on top disguised as bedrock. And just like that, the bedrock looks super unsafe to land in, but if he actually jumps down, he's just gonna bounce like it's a bouncy castle. Boing, boing, boing. Let's add a few spikes around the dropper to make it even more difficult than it already is, and just like that, the world's most dangerous dropper is completed. I have a super cool idea for my next trap, but before building it, I wanna go troll GE real quick. And I have just the perfect prank, so let me just come into this wall over here and break out a few blocks, and look at that, we can see GE 
Yay, building! My TV man's turning out so good! Now I'm gonna move to the other leg. And quick, guys, before he's done building, I'm just gonna open up my morph mod that I got, and I'm gonna turn into a skibbity toilet. Look at that, I'm transforming! And holy moly, we look exactly like an actual skibbity toilet! Now we can just bounce our way over to GE and prank him. Nice, my build is turning out so good, I'm almost... Ah! What the heck? Is that a skibbity toilet? Skibbity dub dub dub. Yes, yes. Hey, get away from me. Run, skibbity, run. Skibbity dub dub dub. Yes, yes. Skibbity dub dub dub. Why am I not doing any damage? Oh my gosh. Uh, no way. G is actually so scared of me right now. Oh no. My gun's out of ammo. Oh, uh, Mr. Skibbity, can you please let me go? I have like a wife and a family and like kids and stuff. Totally. Hmm, okay, GE, I'll let you go under one condition. And what's that? You have to sing the Skibbity Toilet song. The Skibbity Toilet song? Oh, no, I'm not good at singing. But I guess I have to. <coughs> skibbity dop 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 yes, yes. Skibbity dop on a dip dip. What the heck, GE? That was so bad. You're gonna get blown up. Ah! And look at that, guys. We even destroyed part of his build. Now we gotta run. Are you serious, Rainio? Mr. Skibbity, get back over here. I'm gonna kill you. What the heck, GE? He has a rocket launcher. We gotta get out of here. Go, go, go. Ah! Ah! Ew, that was really close, but we got away. I can't believe that skibbity toilet blew up my build. My singing was so good. And we only have five minutes left to fix this. I gotta hurry up. Wait a second. We only have five minutes left. Let me quickly cover this up and turn back into bubbles. And let's get back to building. Okay, we gotta build this fast. For my next obstacle, I'm gonna be making the world's most difficult ice boating course. And since we're so high up, G better not slip and fall. Let's make the course have some twists and turns just like this and we'll even make the second half of the course one block thin which is gonna be super hard not to slip off of and just like that the base of our ice boating course is completed just to make this course harder than it already is we're just gonna go around and add a bunch of springs around it these springs might look harmless at first glance but if g decides to run into them they're gonna bounce him to his doom ah now that we got all the springs down we're gonna add in some spikes as well right over here with all our little obstacles placed down the course looks completed all we gotta do is quickly put a chest down over here and just fill it with a whole bunch of pink boats g hates it's the color pink, so this is gonna be hilarious. Wait a second. Oh no, we only have two minutes left. I gotta quickly build my next trap. For the next obstacle I had in mind, GE's gonna have to successfully complete a skibbity toilet quiz. Let me just build out the room real quick. And for the first question in the build, I'm gonna ask who fights with a big hammer? Titan Speaker Man or Titan Cameraman? If you know anything about skibbity toilet, Titan Cameraman is the one that fights with the big hammer. So for GE to pick that answer, he's gonna have to grab this portal gun right here and right click on his choice to move on to the next question. However, if GE decides to pick the wrong answer, he's not gonna be able to make it through and he's just gonna fall down and to make sure he gets punished for picking the wrong answer we're just gonna fill the floor with a whole bunch of lava spikes for the second question in my skibbity toilet quiz i'm gonna ask which toilet is stronger option number one g-man toilet or option number two the spider toilet since the g-man toilet is way stronger than the spider toilet it's gonna be the right answer so to move on to the last question in the quiz g is gonna have to pick g-man toilet right over here and now for the last question of the quiz who can use teleportation option number one speaker woman or option number two, TV Woman. We can see in multiple Skibbity Toilet episodes that TV Woman is the one, in fact, with the teleportation. And TV Woman's my favorite character from the series as well, so I obviously knew that. But since Speaker Woman is GE's favorite, I have a feeling he's gonna pick her and end up in the spikes. Ow, ow, ow! Ah. But without further ado, now that we're done with our Skibbity Toilet quiz, we can move on to building our last and final obstacle. And since it's the last and final obstacle, GE's gonna have to pick if he wants the Emerald Treasure or the Diamond Treasure. Let's place down some chests at the end of each hallway, just like this. And because we already know that blue is so amazing, the diamond side's gonna be the correct one, which leaves the stinky emerald side to be the wrong one. So if GE dares to open up the chest on this emerald side, it's gonna spawn in a charged creeper that's gonna blow him up. Ah! It's gonna be so funny when GE falls for that trap. If GE, however, picks the beautiful blue side, he's gonna be rewarded with a whole bunch of emeralds and poisonous potatoes, his favorite things. So let's just go ahead and fill up the chest real quick. And just like that, our upgraded Titan TV Man build is completed. Wait, it looks like the timer is up as well. So let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey, GE. Hey, Bubbles. Now that we're done with our builds, whose are we checking out first? I don't know, Bubbles. Are we gonna go on the stinky blue side or the beautiful green side? Uh, GE, I think you got the reverse. Green is the stinky side. Yeah, I don't know about that, Bubbles. Green is the best color, but you should go over on my side because, you know, my build is way better than yours. What the? That's not even true. But I guess we can save the best for last and go on your side first. Prepare to be amazed, Bubbles. This is my upgraded Titan TV Man build. What the heck? This is actually pretty good, GE, but why? Why is he so short? Uh, because TV man's short like you, remember? Hey, I'm not short, GE. What the heck? But anyway,
Anyways, G, how do I even get in this build? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's your favorite color. My favorite color, blue. Uh, where is the blue on this build? Let me just look around and wait, it's right in TV Man's armpit. <laughs> That's so weird, Bubbles. But are you gonna go on the green parkour or the blue parkour? The blue or the green? Well, we already established that green is a super stinky color, so I'm gonna go on the blue. And I see that there's some spikes down there, so I'm gonna have to be really careful on these jumps. Come on, come on. And I made it. Nice shot, Bubbles. And now that you made it to the end, you can collect your prize. Collect my prize already? Well, let me just open up this chest and... Wait, why am I in the void? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, GE? Why'd that teleport me to the void? Because blue's the smelliest color of all time. And now that you went through the blue parkour, you have to go through the green parkour. Ew, I don't want to go through the green, but I guess I'll have to if I want the prize. Let me make these jumps over here and I made it again. Nice shot, Bubbles. And now that you made it through, you can actually get your prize. And wait, this must be the real prize because there's a bunch of green crystals and rotten flesh. Let's go. And wait, wait a second. Ah, hot, 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 hot. <laughs> there's no way you just fell for that, Bubbles. Are you serious right now? Where are those ghost blocks? Yup, because you just went in the fake entrance. Oh my gosh. I should have known this was the fake entrance. Yeah, but you didn't. And if you want to get your treasure, you have to find the real one. Uh, I guess I'll go find it. Is it in TV Man's arm over here? No. Nope. Is it in his core over here? Not here either. Gee, I can't find this entrance anywhere. Can you please give me a hint? Hmm, fine. I guess I'll give you a hint, but only under one condition. Okay, and what condition is that? Everyone watching the videos don't like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe? Quick, guys, I really want to find this real entrance, so hit that like and subscribe button in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. All right, G, they all liked and subscribed, so tell me where it is now. Wait, what? How'd they do it so fast? Because they're super duper cool. I guess they are super cool, so here, follow me. I'll show you where it is. And I don't know how you missed it, Bubbles, because it's literally in this TV right over here. What the heck? How was I supposed to find that? Wait a second, G, what is this? I put 20 different levers in this room, and if you want to make it out, you're going to have to find the right one. Find the right lever, but there's literally so many. Well, I guess I better hurry up and start pulling all of them. Wait a second, G, there's one on a red block right right over here. Are you gonna press it? I mean, it's really standing out to me, so I'm just gonna pull it and... Are you serious right now? <laughs> what in the world, GE? It's okay, Bubbles. 19 more to go. Oh my, I'm just gonna keep pulling them. And hold up. I think there's one on a blue block right over here. And it looks way better than the red one. So this one's gotta be right. Yeah, it says click here for prize. Are you gonna press it? Well, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Let me just pull it real quick and... What, what the heck? What is happening? Ah! Get him, skeletons! Get him! What the heck, GE? Why'd that spawn in wither skeletons? And there's still one more left! Wait, wait, wait a second. Why can't I hit him? And he's throwing out dirt? What What in the world is going on? Haha, <laughs> I got you so good, Bubbles. Wait, are you serious? That was you the whole time? Yup, and you totally fell for it. You should have saw the look in your face. What the heck, GE? That's not cool. It was super funny, but you still have to find the right lever in this room, so get to looking. Well, now that I'm thinking about it, the red lever was wrong and the blue level is wrong so i think you would make the green one right are you gonna press it let me go ahead and pull this one real quick and look at that i made it to the next room let's go gee what what is this i'm really afraid of heights this is my laser dropper and you're gonna have to go through these laser sections between the lava and the water oh no those lasers look super dangerous but if you want me to choose between the lava or water obviously the water would be safe so let me just jump down here like this and Wait, wait a second, I'm taking damage. Ah! <laughs> Are you serious right now? Was that poisonous water? Yup, and you went down the wrong way. What the heck, GE? Well, if that's poisonous water, then this has to be fake lava. So let me just jump down real quick like this, and wait a second, I missed it. There's no way you just missed that jump, Bubbles. Are you serious right now? GE, I told you I was afraid of heights, and I was trying to dodge those lasers too. It's all right, Bubbles. Third time's the charm. You got this. Okay, let me just get a running start back here, and come on, let's go. I made it. And look at that, I'm not burning either. Either. Good job, Bubbles. You figured it out. But now we can press this button to go to the next room. Let's go. Let's go. And, uh, GG, what, what in the world is that? This is a mutant drowned and you're gonna have to fight him. Oh, uh, but he literally looks like a Sigma from Ohio. How do I beat him? Don't worry, Bubbles. I hit a bunch of chests around this room. And if you find every single one of them, you'll be ready to fight the drowned. And you might even find the Grimace Shake in there. What the? I didn't really care about the items, but a Grimace Shake? I better get looking. And let me look inside this chest. And whoa, it's not the Grimace Shake, but it's a minigun. Let's go. And I'll look inside this chest over here. And okay, that's super cool. I just got some dragon scale leggings and boots. You look so cool, but can you find the rest of the chests? Let me just keep looking through these chests. Come on. And oh yeah, I just found the rest of my armor. Good job, Bubbles. But there's still two more chests you have to get. Hmm, well, I already looked through all the chests. So it must be this weapon in the item frame. And look at that, GE. I'm so powerful. You look super duper cool, but you still need the Grimace Shake. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to find this entire time, but I can't find 
find it. You got this, Bubbles. You just have to look really carefully. Look really carefully? Um, what the heck, GE? There's literally nothing around this room. Let me just start clicking randomly on every single block. And wait a second. I just found the Grimace shake. Let's go. Are you gonna try it? Obviously, I heard it's super duper nutritious. And, uh, wait, what? G, 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 I can't, I, I can't move. Uh, uh. Uh, what, what is this Grimace Shake doing to me right now? Oh, I think this is the side effect of the Grimace Shake. Whoa, I can't see anything clearly anymore. Ah! No! Gee, that was super scary. I'm never gonna drink a Grimace Shake ever again. Good job, Bubbles. But now that you have every item, I'm gonna drop the walls in three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, let me just hit him with my mini gun. Let's go. And now I can use my axe. But Gee, he's doing so much damage to me. It's all right, Bubbles. Never back down. Never give up. Ah! I already died once, but this time I'm gonna get him, and look at that, GE, I already won! Good job, Bubbles, and now that you got the ground, we can open up these doors and go to the next section. Ooh, and wait a second, GE, is this a parkour? This is my lava spike parkour, and if you wanna make it all the way to the end, you're gonna have to go through it. These lava spikes look extra deadly, I better be super careful. A good thing I'm a parkour professional, and, well, uh, G -G -G -E, uh, you, you didn't see that, okay? Oh my gosh, Bubbles, you're more like a parkour noob, how did he feel the first jump? Hey, I told you to pretend not to see that. But I'm gonna prove to you that I'm not a noob by making this jump now. Nice. And I'm just gonna breeze through the rest of this like easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go. Nice, but can you make it to the end? Uh, let me do this head hitter real quick. And the last jump, come on. And I did it. Nice shot, Bubbles. Now you can open up this door and get to the next section. Oh yeah, let me just open it up and... Wait, wait a second, G. I can't open it. Oh, uh, are you sure? You might just have to try it harder. Come on, come on. And, G, this is literally an iron door. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I hit a button somewhere in this room, and you're gonna have to find it. A button? Well, let me just look around, and there's literally nothing here. But there is this Among Us painting. It's super sussy. Yeah, he might be the imposter. What are you gonna do about it? Well, if he's the imposter, I'm gonna get rid of him. And wait, wait a second. There's a chest. Let me open it up to see what's inside. And it looks like there's a button. Good job, Bubbles. And now that you have the button, we can move on to the next room. Let's go. Wee. I could tell that the last obstacle was a parkour, but gee, what is this? This is my boat maze and you're gonna have to get to the end. A boat maze? Well, let me just go in this chest and grab a boat. And I'm obviously gonna grab a blue one and not a green one. Really, dude? Green is the best color of all time. No, it's not blue is. Captain Bubbles ready for voyage. Let's go, but now that you're in the boat, which side are you gonna go on? Well, it looks like there's a turn right over here, so it must be this way. Let me just keep sailing and, uh, what, what is this drop? Oh, there's lava. Ah! <laughs> what the heck, GE? I guess that wasn't the right turn. Yeah, it wasn't, but there's still two more turns left, so which one are you going through? Well, I think I see a close one right over here, so I'm gonna go through it. Come on, let me just go inside and Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Stop. These are creepers. These are creepers. Ah! Oh, no. They got rid of your boat. Guess that means you have to use the green one now. Ha <laughs> ha. What the heck, G? I don't want to use the green boat. But I guess the creepers didn't kill me, so I gotta be grateful for that. Nice shot, Bubbles. And there's still one more tunnel left. Well, let me just back out of this creeper one. Come on, before any more creepers spawn. And let's head toward this final turn. And wait, G, it looks like it's the prize. Good job, Bubbles. Are you gonna open it up? Yeah, of course I will. I went through so much, G. I went through a hard parkour. I got blown up by creepers. And now I can finally get my prize. Let's go and... Are you serious right now, GE? Haha, <laughs> it wasn't gonna be that easy, Bubbles. You still have to choose between the diamond treasure and the emerald treasure. The diamond or the emerald? Well, don't we all know, GE? I love diamonds. All right, so let's see what's inside. And it looks like it's the prize. Uh, 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 what the heck? What the heck, man? Were those ghost blocks? Yup, because you just went in the fake treasure. Personally, I think that the diamonds should have been the real one. I don't know about that, Bubbles. Let me just smell the side real quick and... Ew, that totally shouldn't have been the right one. What the heck? Okay, well, let me smell your side then. <laughs> Ew, that's even worse. Oh my gosh, but we'll stop being a baby and just go through the emerald treasure already. You know what? I'll do it, but I'm gonna plug my nose first. All right, GE, I'm walking through. I'm coming through, GE. L let me in, let me in. Oh my gosh, there's no way you're actually plugging up your nose, but now that you made it inside, you can collect your treasure. Okay, GE, I'm almost out of breath. Come on, I'm gonna open up this chest. Oh, wait a second, a bunch of blue crystals and rotten flesh? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Wait a second, why are you actually eating it? Get out of here. Ah! 
Koopa Bubbles, now that you went through my build, can I please go through yours? Yeah, of course. Let's go. Whee! When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. Oh my gosh. How in the world is this build so big? Because I'm a Minecraft professional. Don't you just love my upgraded Titan TV, man? Your build is super awesome. But wait a second. How did you build this in only 10 minutes? What do you mean only 10 minutes? It's plenty of time for me to build something like this. And I even went easy on you, GE. Uh, are you sure about that, Bubbles? This build is literally huge. What can I say? I just have some super fast building skills. Whatever you say, Bubbles. But wait a second. How do I even get inside this thing? I'll give you a hint, GE. It's your favorite color. Wait, my favorite color? Then green. But wait a second. I don't see any green on this build. You're just gonna have to look a little bit closer. Come on. There's gotta be some greener on this build. And wait a second. I think I see some right over here. No way. You found it. All right. So let me just try clicking on these and let's go. Good job, GE. You made it inside. Now you're gonna have to complete this super difficult lava parkour if you want your prize. This super difficult lava parkour? This is the easiest parkour I've seen in my life because, you know, I am a parkour pro. What do you mean, GE? Look how many jumps there are. Watch this, Bubbles. I'm gonna complete this parkour first try. Let me just make this jump right here. And now I'm gonna 360 all the way to the other side. Let's go. What the? That was pretty stylish, GE, but now you can open up your chest and collect your prize. I guess I have double your Riz Bubbles, but now that I made it to the end, I'm gonna collect my prize. Let's go. And wait a second. What the what? Uh, why is there lava here? Haha, <laughs> you're about to get burned. Get away from me, lava. Get away. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> stop rizzing me. Oh my gosh. What in the Ohio was that, Bubbles? You just fell for my trap because this is the fake entrance. The fake entrance? Are you serious right now? Yep, so now you better go find the real one. Oh my gosh. Uh, maybe it's inside of his TV and no. Nope. Or is it inside of his arm and oh my gosh. Uh, no, no, no. I can't find the entrance anywhere, Bubbles. Can you please give me a hint? I'll give you a hint, GE, but under one condition. All right, but what's that? No condition, because I'm not giving you a hint. Ha! Oh my gosh. Are you sure about that, Bubbles? Oh, 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 GE, please. Put that away. Put that away. Put it out. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Let's go. I have no idea why you didn't check here, GE, but it's right inside of his core. Oh my goodness. I could have totally found that, but wait a second. Now that we're inside, there's a red button, a green button, and a blue button. Oh no. Yep, but only one of them's gonna be safe, so which one are you pressing, GE? Well, since green's the best color of all time, I'm gonna press the green button. Let's go and... Wait a second. Really, dude? Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you would pick the green one, GE, so I made sure to make it a trap. Oh my gosh. Really, Bubbles? Green's the best color of all time. How could you do that? Because in reality, green is not the best color. But out of these last two buttons remaining, which one are you gonna press? Well, this red button's super duper big. I totally have to press it. Come on, let's go! And... Wait a second. What the heck is this? What is happening? You just got teleported to Ohio. No, no, no. Get out of here. Wait a second. Did I just kill him? Am I stuck in Ohio? Yep. You just got rid of your only way out, GE. Oh, no. Only in Ohio. Oh, only in Ohio. Oh. I didn't think you would be able to get out of Ohio, but I guess you did. Yeah, that was a total nightmare. But wait a second. Only the blue button's left. Does that mean I have to press it? Yep. It's your only option. I guess I'll press the blue button and let's go. We made it. And wait a second. It's that speaker man and cameraman? Yep, they're super powerful and you're gonna have to fight them, GE. Wait a second, I'm gonna have to fight them? But they're my favorite skibbity characters. That's what makes this level extra hard. Oh no, that sounds super scary. So I guess I'll open up the chest to get started and wait a second. Really, dude? Why is there a password? Because I wouldn't let you get your items that easy, GE. You're gonna have to look around the room for clues to figure out the password. Look around this room, but it's just a bunch of paintings and wait a second, why is there another Among Us over here? That is pretty sussy. What if he's the imposter? Yeah, he might be. Get over here, Mr. Imposter. And wait a second, there's a sign over here. No way, you figured it out. The number on the sign is one of the numbers in the password. Hmm, so if I break the rest of these paintings, maybe I can open up this chest. And wait, another one? Yep, but can you figure out the last two numbers? Hmm, well maybe there's some on this wall. Come on, come on, come on, and another one? So now you got three ones in a row. Wait a second, Bubbles, I think I figured this out. The code has to be 1111. You actually got it. Let's go, and now I have some ender dragon armor and this dragon bone sword. Whoa, GE, you look super cool and you can fly too. Whoa, this is awesome. Speaker man and cameraman, bring it on. The cage is gonna open up in three, two, 
one, fight! Get over here! Holy moly, it looks like they're doing so much damage to you, GE! Yeah, but I'm flying up super duper high! Can you get him? Come on! And Oh my gosh! Ha <laughs> ha! It's alright, Bubbles, try to! Let's see if you can win! It looks like you got him! Let's go! That was a super hard fought fight, GE! Now you can open up this door and move on to the next level! Alright, and wait a second, what the heck is this? Welcome to the world's deadliest dropper! You're gonna have to pick one of these corners to jump in and hope it's safe! Hmm, well, this is the easiest choice of all time! I'm gonna go in the water side, let's go! And wait a second, why am I taking damage? Oh no! <laughs> Are you serious, Rainio Bubbles? Was that poisonous water? Yup, it's the same one that they used to make the Grimace shake! That explains a lot, but wait a second, there's only lava and bedrock over here! Yeah, so what are you gonna do, GE? Hmm, well, since this right lava has to be right, I'm gonna go in the right lava. Let's go and... Oh no, why am I burning? No way! Well, since the right lava wasn't the right one, I'm gonna go in the left one. It has to be fake. Let's go! Let's see if you make it. And oh my goodness, why did I just burn again? No way, GE, you just died three times in a row! Hmm, well, I guess it has to be this bedrock one, so I'm gonna jump on these spikes until I get all the way to the bottom. GE, just jump to the bedrock, trust me. Jump to the bedrock? Hmm, I guess I will. Come on! And wait a second, why am I bouncing? Because I made some bouncy bedrock for you. I didn't even know there was a thing. That's so cool, but wait a second. What the heck is this, Bubbles? This is the next obstacle that you're gonna have to cross to get your prize. My amazing ice boating course. Your amazing ice boating course? Well, luckily, I'm an ice boating pro, so let me open up this chest real quick and... Really, dude? Why is there a bunch of pink boats? Because I remember you said you love the color pink. Uh, no, I don't. I hate the color pink. Get out of here. Uh, GE, if I were you, I would not throw those out because you're gonna need those to get across to the other side. Oh my gosh, why does it have to be a pink boat? Can I please get a green boat? No, pink is all you get. Oh my gosh, whatever. I guess I'll get inside of this stinky pink boat. Yep, and you better not get hit by these springs. All right, come on. Can I make it to the end? Looks like you dodged the spikes. And oh no. You just got bounced off. Ah! It's all right, Bubbles. Try to. Let's see if you can make it past this spot. It looks like you did it. They don't call me a pro for no reason, Bubbles. I just have to make this last turn and I made it. Let's go. No way you did it. Now you can open up this door and move on to your next obstacle. And wait a second. Why is there a portal gun over here? Because this is a skibbity toilet quiz room and you're gonna have to answer these questions successfully to make it to the end. Who fights with the big hammer, speaker man or cameraman? Uh, Bubbles, this is the most obvious question of all time. Obviously, cameraman has a hammer. Well, let's see if you're right by using the portal gun on this answer. All right, let me just use it real quick and let's go. It was the right answer. Nice job, GE, but can you get the second question right? Which toilet is stronger, G-Man or Spider Toilet? Well, the Spider Toilet is pretty scary, so I'm gonna go on the Spider Toilet side. And wait a second, what the heck? Why am I burning? Haha, <laughs> it was wrong. G, I I can't believe you would pick the Spider Toilet. G-Man's obviously the stronger one. Yeah, I guess G-Man is pretty scary, so I'm gonna go on the G-Man side. Now that you made it through, can you answer the last and final question? Who can use teleportation, TV woman or speaker woman? Hmm, well, I don't really know this one, but speaker woman it's literally my girlfriend. I'm gonna go in the speaker woman side. Let's go and oh my goodness. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I knew you would pick Speaker Woman GE because you have a crush on her. Uh, uh no I don't, Bubbles. What are you talking about? It's okay, GE. We all know already. But yeah, the correct answer to this question was TV Woman. Let's go. I'm gonna make it through now. Now, welcome to your last and final obstacle, GE. Are you gonna pick the Emerald Treasure or the Diamond Treasure? The Emerald or the Diamond Treasure? Well, that's the most obvious choice of all time. I'm gonna go in the Emerald Treasure. Let's go. And wait a second. Why is there a creeper? Kaboom. That was super duper scary. Does that mean I have to go in the Diamond Treasure? Yup, I can't believe you fell for that, GE. Diamond was obviously the right one. Oh my gosh, whatever, Bubbles. I guess I'll open up the diamond treasure now in three, two, one, let's go. Whoa, there's a bunch of poisonous potatoes and a bunch of emeralds. Yep, they're all for you. I'm feeling richer than ever. GE, what in the world are you doing? Bubbles, you gotta help me. My fish is literally drowning. Oh no, wait a second, fish can't drown. Ah! But Bubbles, what in the world are we doing today? We're gonna be doing a Weird Strict Dad build challenge. Weird Strict Dad? Oh no, is that the guy with the scary face? Yep, yeah, but he's gonna scare you if your build's bad. Oh no, I'm gonna have to make the best build then. But wait a second, what side are you gonna go on? The green side or the blue side? I love green, so I'm gonna pick the green side. The green side! That's what's up! Ah, what the hell? Okay, fine. I was just kidding anyway. Blue is way better. But we only have 10 minutes to make this build, so you better get started. Go, go, go. Let's go. Now that GE can't hear me anymore, I can tell 
type in the command and oh my god our weird trick that just spawned in we're so ahead of g right now but we got no time to waste because we got to put in some traps and for my first trap i'm gonna put in a fake entrance where should i put it hmm wait i know let's put it right inside of weird strict dad's nose over here we're gonna put some secret doors disguises and more blocks to lure ge over here and i know this is gonna work because emeralds are ge's favorite for the fake entrance of my build i'm gonna make ge fall into a pit of super dangerous mobs let's go ahead and build out the room first and then we can place on a whole bunch of emeralds in the back that ge can mine using this pickaxe right over here let's make sure to put down an emerald ore right over here because if ge goes to mine it he's just gonna fall all the way down this is gonna be the perfect setup for my trap <laughs> instead of making him fall to his doom though i'm gonna make him fall into a pit of mobs just like i was talking about earlier and let's go ahead and make this pit out of some bedrock so he has no way to escape let's also make sure that he falls in some cobwebs so that he literally can't move and now we can spawn in all of these deadly giant beetles whoa these guys look absolutely terrifying but just like that my fake entrance is completed make sure you stick around to see ge get absolutely wrecked by those beetles before moving on to building the real entrance i want to go check on ge to see how he's doing before the competition i secretly place a shrinking device right over here and if i use it just like this we can become super duper tiny now we can break a little hole into the wall and spy on ge and look at that he's building his weird trick dad all right just a few more blocks and there we go my weird trick dad looks so good what do you think of it freddy fazbear what the why is ge talking to freddy fazbear has he gone crazy wait a second why are you running away from it get over here what the heck oh little does bubbles know i'm gonna place a ton of secret traps around my entire build with the super secret treasure at the end and we only have eight minutes left so this is going perfect wait a second we only have eight minutes left i gotta get back to my build let me cover this up turn back into regular size go 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 all right since we already have the fake entrance completed let's put in the real one and i know exactly where i want to put it let's just break out these two blocks in the o just like this and then replace it with some ghost blocks as the way in look at that it's so hidden you can't even tell anything's there for the first official trap in my build i'm gonna be making another pit full of mobs but this time there's gonna be a safe way to get through it let's go ahead and bet out the pit and now to help me spawn in the mobs you have to hit that like and subscribe button in three two one thank you for subscribing and holy moly we just spawned in some giant poisonous lizards now that that's done with we gotta give ge a way to get across ge is gonna have to pick one of these three springs to bounce across with and only one of them is gonna be right and i have a feeling he's gonna pick the blue and green one first because it's our favorite colors but too bad for him both of these are actually gonna be wrong the correct answer is gonna be this red spring right over here the green spring is gonna bounce him far but not quite far enough and then the blue one's only gonna bounce him halfway i can't wait to see ge pick those and fall into the pit but if he picks the correct red one he can bounce to the other side super easily let's go our mob pit spring room is completed for the next room in my build i'm gonna be making a shark obby or shark parkour let's make this room super duper huge and then we'll fill up the entire floor with a whole bunch of water and now we can spawn in our great white sharks just look at how fierce they look they look like they're gonna attack whoever whenever for the parkour we're just gonna start off with an easy jump just like this let's make this a spring jump all the way up here and then this is the part where it gets crazy by putting down these blocks just like this we can actually make this entire thing spin now when ge is all the way up here he's gonna have to try and make it down without falling into the water and then we'll make him do some ladder parkour on the side of the wall just like this and make it to this little platform over here on this platform ge is gonna have to make it across to the end before these fences push him off we'll put some spikes at the end to make it even harder let's test out this jump to see how it works and wait a second this fence is already pushing me off what the heck help ow okay this parkour is super duper difficult make sure to stick around to see if ge can get past it but now that our shark parkour is completed we can move on to building our next trap for the next obstacle ge he's gonna have to do a boss fight against a super dangerous mob let's hope that he's been practicing his pvp skills because he's gonna need it let's put down some super secure iron bars to make sure that the mob boss doesn't escape and it's time to spawn in our mutant wither skeleton oh my god there's no way ge is gonna be able to defeat him but let's give him a fighting chance by giving him some gear in this chest right over here the twist is it's gonna be password protected let's just set the password to 777 and we're gonna be giving him a full set of silver armor a silver sword and some golden apples hopefully this is good enough for him to put up a good fight the only way that ge can figure out the password is by finding three hidden chests with the numbers inside and for the first chest let's just put it in this corner right over here we'll drop a piece of paper with the number seven on it and to make it even more hidden we're gonna add a little slab on top the second chest is gonna be super duper hard to find because it's gonna be under this secret trap door this might just look like any ordinary block but if you right click it it's actually gonna open up and under it there's gonna be the second chest with another number seven inside the third and final chest is gonna be the hardest to find because it's gonna be disguised as an iron bar once once again it doesn't look like anything special but if ge right clicks it he can find the last number to the code and there we go guys our boss fight room is completed and now before moving on to building the next trap i want to go troll ge real quick so let me just fly up to this chest right over here and we're gonna grab this zombie tnt and this invisibility potion now we can break out a few blocks into the wall and look at that we can see ge building my weird trick dad is coming along super
super good. I'm almost finished. Wait, he's almost finished. Let me quickly splash his invisibility potion on myself and then fly straight over to him to prank him. To set up this little prank, we're gonna put this zombie TNT right over here with a sign on top that says light to get free emeralds. And now all we gotta do is wait to see if he notices. Whoa, this building's super exhausting. I really need a break and wait a second. What in the world is that TNT? Looks like he found it. What is he gonna do? It says light to get free emeralds. Oh my, yeah, I'm totally gonna light it. Let's go and wait a second. Where's the emeralds? Come on and ah! What the what is this? No way. All those zombies just came out of the TNT. Why is there a bunch of babies attacking me? Ow, get away from me. It's really a zombie apocalypse out here. Get him. Come on, zombies. I'm out of sexual on fire. Let's go. Oh, no. GE is actually beating them. And wait, he just died. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah! All right, quick. While GE is busy respawning, we're just going to grab this bazooka and then we're going to blow up his build. Run away, run away. Wait a second. What was that sound? I think he noticed it. What the heck? What the heck happened to my build. Haha, <laughs> he has no idea that it was us. This is super bad and we only have five minutes left to finish this build so I gotta hurry up. What in the world did he just say five minutes? We gotta quickly get back to our build. Go, go, go. I had no idea we only had a few minutes left so we gotta build this quick. For this obstacle, GE is gonna have to pick between two different roller coasters. The one on the left or the one on the right. I have a feeling that GE is gonna think that the right one is right so we're gonna make this one the wrong one. Let's make the roller coaster go upwards just like this. Instead of leading him somewhere safe, it's actually gonna drop him into a room of mobs. Let's Let's put out a bedrock cage just like this. Then we can go ahead and spawn in these evil wolves. They look super scary and powerful. They're gonna take GE out in no time. Let's add in some finishing touches to this side. And for this roller coaster over here, because it's gonna be the correct answer, it's just gonna lead directly to the next room. We'll make it come this way just like this. And voila, our roller coaster room is completed. The idea I have for my next obstacle is gonna be the world's most dangerous ice boating course. Let's make this room super duper huge. There we go. And now we can start building out the ice. We'll make a curve over here just like this, and then have a whole bunch more twists and turns to the end. Looking good. And I even added some dead ends over here on the turns. Just to make this harder, we're gonna go ahead and add some springs to the course just like that. If GE hits them with his boat, he's just gonna get bounced right off the course. Wait a second, I almost forgot. To punish GE for falling off the course, I'm just gonna spawn in a whole bunch of these desert zombies. That should be enough. And oh my goodness, I definitely would not want to be falling down here. Let me fill up a chest over here with a whole bunch of boats. And just like that, the world's most dangerous ice boating course is completed. If GE is able to somehow survive this, then he can move on to my last and final obstacle. Because this is the last obstacle, all he has to do is pick if he wants the emerald treasure or the diamond treasure. Let me place down a chest on both sides. And come on guys, let's be real, diamonds are way better than emeralds, so the diamond side is gonna be the correct one. Which means we're gonna have to set up a little trap on this emerald side. <laughs> Let me hide a command block under the chest real quick. And now when GE opens up this chest, it's just gonna make him levitate all the way to the top. But what should we put up here? Hmm. Ooh, I think it would be hilarious if we put some super hot lava. Let me get some signs down just like this and just cover the entire roof with this lava. Let's make sure that our trap is working and oh my goodness we're levitating. And wait, I'm in the lava. Ah. That was really spooky. I can't wait to see GE fall for it. But now that the emerald side is completed, we can give him his actual prize on the diamond side. So let's just fill this chest up with a whole bunch of emeralds and lettuce. GE loves vegetables so I think he's gonna appreciate his prize. And boom chicka pow, my weird strict dad build is completed. And look at that, the timer just went off as well. Let's go meet up with GE and check out each other's builds. Hey GE. Hey bubble. Now that we're both done with our builds, whose are we gonna check out first? Well, since your build's definitely the best, I think we should check out yours. Wait, really? You think my build's the best? I'm just kidding, Bubble. Since my build's obviously way better than yours, we should check out mine. Bruh, what the heck? Whatever, GE, let's save the best for last then. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles, but if you go on the side over here, check it out. What do you think? What the, GE? This is actually not bad, but why in the world is his face like that? Uh, well, his face is supposed to look super creepy, right? Yeah, it is, but that doesn't look creepy. That looks kind of goofy, ah. He's not goofy, ah. He's literally Elris from Ohio, but I hid a secret treasure inside of my build, and if you go through all my traps, you get to keep it. A secret treasure? Well, then how do I get in your build? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's your favorite color. My favorite color? Well, that's gonna be easy peasy to find. Come on, let me just scan this entire build for some blue. And look at that. I just found it. Good job, Bubbles. You figured it out. So now if we open up these doors, we can go right inside. And whoa, is this a whole bunch of lasers? Yep, this is my impossible laser course and good luck getting through it bubbles because you know you're literally a noob i'm a noob i'm literally the best and i'll show you right now look at that just maneuvering through your lasers like it's nothing wait what how are you already at the end because i'm the greatest parkour master to exist and look at that ge i can already collect my prize i'll give you that bubbles i guess you are pretty good at parkour and since you made it to the end you can open up this chest and get your prize sounds good it's gonna be so many diamonds and uh, uh wait a second why am i in a whole bunch of spikes <laughs> ow, 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 
ow, ow, ow. What the heck, GE? Those spikes were literally poking my butt cheeks. And there was absolutely nothing in that chest. Does this mean it's the fake entrance? Yup, and you're gonna have to find the real one. Oh my gosh. Is it inside of his goofy uh, face? Nope. Is it in his big red shirt over here? And nope. Nuh uh uh. Where in the world is this entrance, GE? I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, I guess we'll give you a hint, Bubbles, but only under one condition. And what condition is that? Everyone watching the video is still like and subscribe right now. Like and subscribe? Quick, guys, I really want to figure out where this real entrance is, so hit that like and subscribe button in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. Hey, <laughs> all right, GE, they all like to subscribe, so now you have to tell me where it is. Fine, I guess I'll show you bubbles. Follow me. Let's go. And I have no idea how you didn't find it, because it's literally in his arm right over here. What the? I never thought to check the back. And, uh, wait a second. What in the world is this? Now that you're inside of my build, you're gonna have to choose between the lava tunnel and the water tunnel. Um, are you serious right now, GE? The water or lava? Isn't that, like, the easiest question of all? Uh, maybe. What are you talking about, bubbles? I mean, it doesn't really take a dummy to figure out that lava burns you and water keeps you alive. Wait a second, Bubbles, you're a genius, and now that you figured it out, you can go down the water tunnel. Oh yeah, I'm super duper smart, super duper smart. Uh, uh, wait a second, why am I taking damage? Ah! <laughs> um, so I guess my calculations might have been wrong, GE. The water actually killed me. Yup, because you just fell in the fake water. Okay, but where do I even go now? I'm not gonna jump in this lava. Wait, what? Why not? It's literally so hot and steamy and totally won't kill you or something like that. GE, you must be tickling my toes right now or something, because it is definitely not safe to be down there. Fine, I guess it isn't that safe, but there is a bunch of rotten flesh down here. Wait a second, rotten flesh? I didn't have dinner yet, so I'm super hungry. Okay, I'm just gonna jump down. I'm just gonna jump. And wait a second, I survived. Yo, yep, because you just fell in the fake lava. I should have known you would have put fake lava here, GE. Yeah, but you didn't. And now that you made it across, you have to answer this super difficult question. Let me just read it real quick. Who is super smelly, GE or Bubbles? Well, GE, just come over here for a second. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ew, GE, what the heck is that smell? Really, dude? Let me just smell you real quick. Ew, you literally stink. Bro, you smell like you haven't showered in like five years, brother. You're definitely the more stinky one. Oh my gosh, that sucks, Cap, but I guess you can press the button. All right, let me just press it and... What the heck? <laughs> you know what, GA? I bet I actually didn't die from that button. I just died because of how you smell. <laughs> really, dude? You're like the smelliest person of all time, and your breath literally smells like rotten flesh. Yeah, obviously, which is absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. Well, since you literally won't press this button, I'm gonna press it for you. Let's go. And what the heck? What in the diggity dog dog is that, GE? This is a mutant blaze, and you're gonna have to fight it. Uh, there's no way I have to fight that thing, GE. Get me out of here. No way, Bubbles. You're gonna have to fight that blaze, or you're gonna get Gulp eaten alive. Eaten alive? But wait a second, GE. I literally have nothing. How am I supposed to beat them? Don't worry, Bubbles. I completely thought of that. So I put a chest right over here with all the items inside. Wait, what? GE, that's so nice of you. I can't believe you would actually do... Uh, what in the world, GE? It's password protected. Haha, <laughs> I hid the password somewhere inside of this room, and you're gonna have to find it. Somewhere inside this room? Well, it's definitely not suspicious that there's an Among Us painting right over here. Hold up, it literally says sus. Bubbles, I think you should eject him. Yeah, you're right. Let me just get him out of here and... Wait a second. What if I just break every single painting on the wall? Come on, come on. I think it's revealing something. And it looks like it's a number nine. Yup, you found the first number. And I think the second number is right over here. And I can't reach those paintings all the way up there, but I assume this is going to be a three. What do you mean you can't reach that, Bubbles? You're literally so short. I'm the short one? Well, GE, why don't you try to reach it then? Uh, okay. Let me just jump like this. Come on, come on, come on. And I got it. Bro, literally all the viewers and I just saw that you flew. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. I'm just built different, but there's still one more number left. Well, yeah, I'm gonna find it right now. And come on, it looks like it's the number one. Good job, Bubbles. But does the passcode actually work? Let me type in 931. And oh my god, I just got some ender dragon armor and a dragon bone sword. Whoa, you look super cool. But now that you're all geared up, I'm gonna drop the walls in three, two, one. Fight! Mutant blazes, bring it on! And whoa, this armor can make me fly too! This is so cool! And wait a second, there's a bunch of explosions! What is going on? Haha, <laughs> they're shooting so much balls at you! What the? Get these balls away from me! That's too sus! And wait a second, I think I killed one of the blazes! And come on, just one more left! I gotta get this guy! You got this, Bubbles, come on! I can barely even see anything because he's throwing me around! But come on, just a few more hits, and I think I got him! Let's go! Holy moly, that fight was super chaotic, but 
but thank God I made it out alive. Yeah, and we better get out of here because this room's literally on fire. Go, go, go. All right, whew. And, uh, gee, what is this? This is my laser boat maze, and if you want to make it to the end, you're going to have to get across without dying. Well, that sounds like a piece of cake. And, uh, gee, why are there only green boats over here? Can you give me a blue one? Yeah, my bad, Bubbles. Let me just give you a blue boat right over here. Let's go. And... What the heck, GE? Are you colorblind? This is literally green again. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. It's literally green. I mean, I mean blue. What the heck? Whatever, GE. I get it. You don't want to give me a blue boat. I'm still going to make it through your course regardless. We'll see about that, Bubbles. I made it super difficult. Uh, well, if it's super difficult, why am I getting through it so easily right now, GE? Uh, wait, what? I might have not planned this good enough. And look at that. I can see the exit right over there. Let's go. Ow, wait. I literally just almost died, but I made it through anyway. Fine, Bubbles. I guess you made it through, but you're definitely not making it past this next trap. And what's it gonna be? This is my lava parkour, and you're gonna have to get past all these super difficult jumps to get to the end. Uh, I think you might want to look up difficult in a dictionary again, because this is super duper easy, GE. Really, dude? Chill with the ego, little bro. There's no way you make it to the end without dying at least once. Well, to be honest, GE, I don't think I'm gonna die at all. Let me just jump over here and what the heck? Ha <laughs> ha. I literally didn't even miss that jump. How did I fall there? Well, maybe because you're a noob. What the heck? I'm literally not a noob. I'm gonna show you by making it through this and what the heck? Why am I falling through these blocks, G? Ha <laughs> ha. Nah, there's definitely something super fishy here. I'm making those jumps, but then falling right through. You might want to get your eyes checked, Bubbles, because you literally miss every single jump. And uh, I literally just saw you go through those blocks. There's something wrong with those. Uh, go. Wait, what? I didn't know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, uh you, you didn't see anything. Wait a second. I know. Those were literally ghost blocks. I should have known you would put those traps, GE. Oh my gosh. Fine. I guess you figured it out. Let's go. But now you have to make the most important choice of your life. Are you gonna choose the green treasure or the blue treasure? Uh, I don't think this is the most important decision of my life because it's easily gonna be the blue side. Good choice, Bubbles. So open up the chest and let's see what you get. I'm about to get some diamonds, some di What the heck? Why am I in that void? <laughs> What the heck, GE? Why did I just fall into the void? Because you just picked the wrong treasure. What the heck, GE? Does that mean I have to pick this green, nasty one? Yup, and this time you have to open it up. You know what, GE? I will, and you better have put some super cool prizes. And whoa, are these a bunch of diamonds shaped in the letter B for bubbles? That is super cool. Yup, I made it just for you. But now that you went through my build, can I please go through yours? Yeah, of course. Let's go. Whee! When can I turn around? You can turn around in three, two, one. Turn around. All right, so let me see. And oh my god. Oh my god, for real. Because my build is absolutely amazing. This is super huge. How in the world did you build this in 10 minutes? What do you mean? 10 minutes is more than enough time to build all of this. Yeah, I guess 10 minutes is a lot of time. But this thing's literally massive. How in the world do I even get inside this thing? I'll give you a hint, GE. It's your favorite block. My favorite block? Then emeralds. But hmm, I don't see any emeralds around this build. Uh, are you sure about that, GE? Look a little bit closer. Look a little bit closer. Your bubbles. You're literally so weird. I don't want to look at his pants. What the GE? That's really sus. I never said that. I literally just said to look for your favorite block. Look for my favorite block and oh, it's right up there the whole time. Yeah, I have no idea why you wanted to look at his pants, GE, but let's ignore that fact. Well, Bubbles, it was literally green. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. Let's just open up these doors and go right inside. And whoa, are these a bunch of emeralds? Yep, and there's no trap involved because I'm super duper nice. Yeah, I guess you are pretty nice. So let me just take this pickaxe real quick and let me start mining. Let's go. Whoa, you're getting so many emeralds, GE. I'm feeling richer than ever. Wait, what the heck? You're not supposed to break those. What are you doing? What are you doing? Really, dude? Fine. I guess I'll just mine the last emerald right here. So let me just mine this real quick and wait a second. Why am I in a cobweb? No, oh, no. You're getting attacked by a whole bunch of beetles. Ah, get away from me, beetles. Get away. Get him, get him, get him. Oh my gosh. Ha <laughs> ha. And uh, wait a second. Why did you just leave some poop here, GE? Wait, what the? What are you talking about? All right, GE, I did not know that the beetles were going to scare you that much. That is super nasty. Uh, no, it's not what it looks like. You know what? Fine. Since we went in the fake entrance, I'm going to find the real entrance now. Let's see if you can find it. Maybe it's inside of his Roblox logo over here. And no. Nope. Maybe it's in his arm over here. And no. Not even close. Or 
maybe it's inside of his beautiful green pants. Not the pants again. Ah, oh, I can't find this entrance anywhere. Can you please give me a hint? You know what, G.E., since I'm so nice, I'm not going to give you a hint. <laughs> really, dude? Are you sure about that, Bubbles? Hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop, stop, stop. Okay, okay, G.E., I'll tell you where it is. I'll tell you where it is. Let's go. And I have no idea how you missed it, G.E. It's right inside of the Roblox. Oh, wait, what the? I could have totally found that. Well, you did it. And now that you made it inside, can you make it past my poisonous lizard pit? Well, of course I can. These lizards look super friendly. But there is a green spring, a blue spring, and a red spring. Yep, so which one are you going to pick to figure out how friendly they are? Well, since the lizards are green and I'm green, obviously I'm going to choose the green spring. Let's go and wait a second. Oh, no. Haha, <laughs> you just fell into the pit. <laughs> It looks like you just figured out how really friendly they are. Yeah, I guess they aren't that friendly after all. But there is a blue spring and a red spring left. And I have a feeling you'd make the blue spring the right one. So let me just try real quick and... Really, dude? Why did your spring just break? What the? It was supposed to knock you in the pit again. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Well, it wasn't the right one anyway. Yeah, because blue is literally the worst color of all time. That is the biggest cap you ever told. I just knew you would pick it. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. But let me just go on this red spring real quick. And I made it. Nice job, GE. Now that you made it through, we can open up this door and move on to my parkour. <laughs> Whoa. Are these a bunch of sharks? Yep. One wrong move and you're going to get eaten alive. Eaten alive? Cool. That sounds super scary. But lucky for me because I'm a parkour pro. Well, let's see if you can make it through. Let me just jump on this moving platform. Nice. There's no way you just made that. Let's go. This parkour is easy peasy. And wait a second. What the? Haha, <laughs> you just got pushed off by the fence. Ow, ow, ow. You gotta be careful with those jumps, GE. That fence might push you off again. Yeah, that was super scary, but good for me because second time's the charm. Let's go. And whoa, that was actually super close, but you made it. But I'm super curious. Can you make it past my next obstacle? <laughs> wait a second. Is that a mutant wither skeleton? Yep, and look at his two massive swords. You're gonna have to fight him. That sounds super scary, but lucky for me, because there's a chest over here. So let me just open it up real quick and... Oh no, why is there a password? Because I wouldn't make it that easy for you, GE. To figure out the password, you're gonna have to find it around the room. Find it around the room? That sounds super difficult, but wait a second. I already see a chest over here, so let me just open it up real quick. And look at that, you found the first number of the password. Yeah, and it says seven. But there's gotta be some other numbers in here, so let me just keep looking real quick. Let's see if you can find it. And hold up, this stone brick looks super saucy. Uh, what do you mean, GE? There's nothing sus about it. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. It looks super saucy. So let me just try hitting it. And whoa, it just opened up a trap door. Yep, and now you could collect the second number of the password. And it's also another seven. Yep, and there's only one more number left. Can you find it? Well, duh. Of course I can, Bubbles. I just gotta look super carefully. Maybe there's another hidden block in this wall. Come on, come on, come on. And I found it. What the? How in the world did you find it? And really, dude, it's another seven. I could have guessed that. Well, you did it, and now you could put in the password and collect all your items. And whoa, there's a bunch of silver armor, this silver sword, and these golden apples. Yes, Sirski. Wow, GE, you're actually looking super cool and ready for battle. Yeah, I'm so ready. This skeleton's gonna get blicked up. Okay, I'm gonna drop the walls in three, two, one, fight! Get over here with the skeleton. Ha <laughs> ha! And oh no, I already died. What the? Gee, there's no way you already died to it. Are you serious right now? He's super strong. Is he gonna get you again? And he just got you again. Really, dude? It's all right, Gee. Third time's the charm. Let's see if you can finally get him. Oh no, I have to eat one of these golden apples real quick. Come on, get him, get him. Just a few more hits and I got him. Wow, he just blew up into a million pieces. I told you I was gonna get him. But now let me just open up this door and wait a second. What is this? Welcome to my roller coaster room. Are you gonna Pick the roller coaster on the left or the roller coaster on the right. The left or the right? Well, hmm. Since right is right, I'm gonna go on the right roller coaster. Let's go. All right, let me give you a push and see where you go. And wait a second. What the heck? Haha, <laughs> you just got eaten by the evil wolves. I can't believe you just fell for that, G. I obviously would not make the right one right. Are you serious, Rainio Bubbles? That's so unfair. Yep, but now you're gonna have to go on this left one. Fine, let me just go in this minecart real quick. And I'm just gonna say this now, G. You're not gonna have a fun time. Ah! Why did you push me so hard? What? I literally gave you a little tap. That sucks, Cap. But wait a second. What is this? Well, gee, welcome to the world's most dangerous ice boating course. You're gonna have to use a boat to get to the other side. And if you fall, you're gonna get destroyed by these zombies. The most dangerous ice course? 
Gulp? That sounds super scary. So let me just open up this chest real quick and... Really, dude? Why is there a bunch of blue boats? What do you mean? Because blue is the best color in the world. It matches the ice. Can I please have a green boat, Bubbles? They literally gave you a blue boat earlier. You know what, G? Since you asked so nicely, I'm gonna do the same for you. Wait, really? Yep, here's a green boat right here. Let's go. Thank you, Bubbles. So let me just place this down real quick and... Really, dude? This is not green. Haha, <laughs> well, I said I would do the same to you. But hurry up, G. Make it to the other side before the zombies eat you. No, no. I just got bounced by those springs. Ah! What the? You literally got flung around and now these zombies are chasing you down. Wait a second. I have a 900 IQ play. Let me just place these cactuses like this. Come on. And I made it. What in the world? I shouldn't have put those cactuses down. I'll give it to you, GE. You escaped the zombies, but can you make it past the ice boating course? I totally can, Bubbles. Just watch. And wait, you're actually almost there. And I made it. All right, GE. That was actually some smooth sailing. So let's open up this door and move on to the last and final obstacle. And whoa. Is this my treasure? Yup, and you can either choose between the beautiful diamond treasure or the smelly emerald treasure. The smelly emerald treasure? Let me just smell it real quick. <sighs> oh, it definitely does smell. It smells delicious! I mean, to each their own, I guess. You could collect your emerald prize then. Yeah, yeah, I'm not listening to all that. So let me just open up this chest real quick and... Wait a second, why is there nothing in there? And why am I floating? Ah! Haha, <laughs> you just got levitated straight into some super hot lava. Are you serious right now? That was super unfair. I think it was actually pretty fair because you're the one that chose this side. But now that you figured out that the emerald side is a trap, you could open up the chest on this diamond side. Whatever, let me just collect this emerald before I go. Now I'm gonna have to go in this super smelly blue side. I don't think you're gonna think it's smelly after you open up this chest. All right, so let me just open it up. And whoa, there's a bunch of emeralds and a bunch of lettuce. Yep, your favorite. Let's go. And now that we've checked out each other's builds, whose do you think is better? Well, looking carefully at both of her builds, I think that mine is better. Stop the cap, GE. Mine is way better. Really, dude? Then who wins? Huh, I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment GE! No, everyone comment Bubbles! And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to see another one of our adventures, then click the video on screen. Go, click it, click it, click it. Bye! Bye! Are you serious now?